What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 160 of the Games and Crafts podcast. My name is Hollywood Sunny G, here as always with Balafin. Hello. And Stone Cold Steve Hello. Watkins. Good evening. <laughs> and we're back. We're, we're back. We've, we've not done a podcast in a little while, not a proper one anyway. Hey. 2021's been crazy for us. It's like it's been crazy for the whole world. Yeah, so, crazy. so crazy. It's 2022 now. It's, yeah, That's it's right. It is. <laughs> it is well. 2022. And March 2022. March, almost the middle of March as well. What, yeah. I don't even know what year it is. That's how crazy life is at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> but we're back to save whatever year it is. All right. It doesn't matter. 2021, cool. 2022, sure. Why not? It could be 2023. I have no idea, nor yeah, do I care. Knows. Anyway, <laughs> Finn, how you doing? I'm doing all right, thank you. Yeah, I'm doing good. I've, we finally made it to a place where I'm not working. You guys are both free. None of us are like, we're all healthy. Everything's good. Finally. Define healthy. Podcasting. Uh, well, yeah. Healthy, uh, healthy, healthy enough to uh, record the podcast. Okay, yeah. We, ha- we have voices right. and, yeah. <laughs> we are that. Yeah, we are good. <laughs> we're good. Steve, up. how you doing? Yeah, I'm good, man. Good. Busy, but good. Healthy? Glad to be doing this. I've been uh, mm, loosely, very, you know, loose, <laughs> loose sense of the, the term. But no, I'm re- I've, I've been really looking forward to, to doing this because there's so much going on with gaming and there's a ton of stuff going on with wrestling and I just can't wait to get into it and talk about it. Yeah, for sure. Why waste time? Why, why waste time be typical games and graps? Wasting time talking about absolute shit. Yeah. Why um, before before we do get into it, um, thanks for checking out um, our streams and the other podcasts that we've been doing. We've been having a good time. We're trying to sort of yeah. figure out how to do the Raw and Nitro podcast so that they run sort of side by side. But mm. we'll figure it out, and it's going to be all good. We're just glad you're enjoying them so far. Um, streams will return properly. Oh, we're getting to a better rhythm with them. It's uh, rhythm with them. Look at me; I'm an absolute <laughs> maestro. On the microphone. Yeah. With them, with them. Yeah. <laughs> like a 90s dance track. <laughs> um, <laughs> you wanted to break out into song then, I could see it. I was, you know, I, I was trying I think to think it. of a, a melody in my head to like go with a 90s dance track. Um, yeah, but I wasn't clicking it. Um, there you go. Yeah. yeah, there we go. There we go. Just like that. Sort Perfect. Of. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> but yeah, we're going we're gonna to keep just pumping the content out. The podcast will just come out as and when it ever does. But you'll get a weekly podcast about um, Raw slash Nitro and regular yeah. video game streams. Good times. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Finn, you've got a look of concentration on your face, but um, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you the same question that I always ask you to start this podcast. What have you been playing? What well, indeed, I'm playing a lot of stuff. Uh, main focus right now is, of course, Elden Ring. Okay. Which is excellent. It's out 96, 97 on Metacritic, highest viewed game in a billion years or whatever. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's incredible. Like amazing open world, amazing gameplay. Everything's everything's top notch, top tier, ten out of ten. Um, and you expect nothing yeah. less from From Software. I yeah. too yeah. have been playing Elden Ring. You'll be yeah, surprised well, to know. I'm, I'm very surprised. Um, sure. But yeah, from software, I know what they're doing. They've got the same sort of formula going to improve it every, with every game. Uh, it's mm-hmm. full open world. Just a huge map. I was playing it. It's a big map anyway. I was going around. Like, mm. I, I opened a treasure chest. I triggered some trap. Got teleported somewhere else. Got teleported to the complete other side of the map. Turned out the map is about four times bigger than I was expecting it to be. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, oh, this okay, this bigger game. Mm. And the place I got teleported to looks completely different and than where I was, and it's all just looks amazing. It's like, wow! Did you get Did you get totally annihilated when you got transported to that place too? Uh, I did it quite a few times. Yeah, there's a big giant there. I did eventually kill him and got a cool amulet, which I think restores your health slowly, which is pretty nice. Nice. Um, but yeah, just incredible. Every encounter you have with enemies is a challenge, but also like a fair challenge. And yeah, I, I would. Yeah, I think that's a fair Definitely. assessment. I mean, me as um, you know, a not good player of From Software games, <laughs> um, 
I've been I've been really enjoying it. And I've been playing it with my brother in law, and he is good at these games. So he's been sort cool. of jumping into my game, and he's been sort of teaching me the ropes a little bit. Um, and that now I have sort of learned like the basics of it and what what things certain things that you pick up do. Mm. I'm really getting into it. Yeah. And so what cool. I love about these from software games is that sense of achievement. Mm. Oh, like yeah. When you do beat a difficult, like there was a boss, uh, it was near the beginning, like that first area, right at the top of the map. There's like a little, uh, there's like a uh, a dungeon uh, where you got like some gargoyles who threw knives at you. Uh, oh yeah. They're dicks. And then you yeah. <laughs> do a couple of bits, open a door, and there's a big. It's called like something something guard dog, but it looks like a giant cat with a huge like sword. <laughs> um, and I just could not beat it for the life of me. But, you know, went away, did some other stuff, leveled up, uh, boosted my stats, went back, killed the motherfucker, and I was so happy. And nice. <laughs> it, it's stuff like that. It just, you know, it's it's just such a... It's just such a rewarding game. Yeah, it's incredibly difficult. There's no two ways about that. This is not for... Um, you know, your typical casual. I'm lucky I've been playing with somebody who knows what they're doing to guide me around. But um, yeah, there's no two ways about it. It's very difficult, but at the same time, it is incredibly rewarding. Yeah. I just found a uh, like a giant ice skeleton boss. Oh. Have you ever found one of those like big like, like rings on the ground which you can teleport to like a new area with the boss in it? Yes. Found one of them yet? Yeah, cool. It's one of them and the big ice skeleton in it. I uh, haven't killed me yet. You killed me a bunch. Like, okay, I'll come back to this <laughs> later. Yeah. Um, so I've been playing, I keep on these really awesome weapons I can't use. Um, I've been playing, I've mostly been leveling up uh, like decks and intelligence, so I can use like magic and also like big swords and things. Um, all the weapons I find are like like massive heavy weapons, which need a lot of strength for. It's like, ah, mm -hmm. oh, it's like a massive axe or a huge sword, or really cool looking things. I'm like, oh man, I should wish I could use those. <laughs> See, I've been, I've been using like a, a cleaver, like uh, the main character in Bloodborne's got. Nice, that's cool. Yeah, uh, and it's them, really, actually. it's really good, um, and it's it's really powerful as well. I'll, it's awesome when you like stealth attack an enemy from behind because he literally yeah. just clubs them with it, and then like, just, oh, it's awesome. It's really cool. <laughs> it's very cool. I mean, you get a flail. It's like, got this cool massive sword. I've got this little flail. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool though. It's pretty powerful. Um, but yeah, it's just so good. Worth the wait. Oh yeah, big time. And would so. you say it's uh, from software's best effort yet? I think so. Yeah, I'd say yeah, easily. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think it's very good. I mean, I, I like a lot of the games. I like a lot of their games. I'm just not very good at them. I think Sekiro is very very good. Uh, I think Bloodborne <laughs> is um, probably one of, if not the best, PlayStation Four exclusive. Yeah, agreed. Uh, it's phenomenal. Um, and the Dark Souls games are really good. Dark Souls 3 is incredibly polished. And, you know, the I know it's not from software, but it's the remake of Demon Souls is fantastic as well. Oh, yeah. So good. Incredible. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Other than Elden Ring, um, I'm trying to think. I'm playing quite a few. I've got, I've got an Xbox Series X. Ah, you caved. I finally got one. I caved. <laughs> I caved Johnson. Um <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so i'm playing what i'd be like on on that is like the, the quests like game bars quests you can get, yeah. give your points so mm. you can, the kids can like play this game and unlock like it, one of them was like play three fights in injustice like okay i'll never play injustice let's give it a try and uh yeah a few rounds are like it's fun it's more combat for superheroes in dc yeah literally that yeah <laughs> literally so that's pretty cool i played the plane there's like chunks of little games which i wouldn't play otherwise like, oh, mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. I'm getting points. Um, that's pretty yeah, fun. Eventually, you can cash them points in. Yeah, cash them in for, I'm going to save up for like a month's worth of Game Pass Ultimate. Nice. Uh, yeah. So that's very cool. Uh, play a lot of Forza and Halo and things like that. Just chuck it in. Um, they look incredible on the Series X, though, right? Yeah. Insane. Like when you're playing yeah. them on the actual console that they're meant to be played on, they look amazing, right? On your TV. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's so, so good. I'm trying to think what else we've been playing. Um, oh yeah, one of the games on the Xbox was a game called Max something, Curse of the Brotherhood or something like that. It's like a puzzle game, okay. like a platformer. You can like draw like pillars and things to jump on. Very cool. Difficult. Oh, okay. okay. That sounds interesting. 
yeah, it's quite quite a, a doable achievement list. We're going to try and get it. I reckon. So, are you back into achievements now? Now you've got um, a Series X console. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so I'm at, I think about like 189,000 points or something crazy like that. Which is all from Jesus 360 games. Christ. I know, I know. I was addicted. <laughs> I want to try and so get I guess to, this. Is, this is when he's he's beating uh, like Barbie and <laughs> uh, Avatar, the game that's uh, like a thousand G in about 30 seconds or some shit. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I want to try and get to like 200,000 by the end of the year. I think that'd be a good a good target. Oh. Mm. That's just going to take some gaming. That's going to take some yeah. serious, About serious 10, hours. Points. Yeah, there's quite a few easy ones on there. Like uh, Donut County is on there, which needs a thousand. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll go through that. I think I think that's doable. Okay. Um, yeah, otherwise, um, more Mass Effects. Mass Effect 2, getting through that. That's really fun. Enjoying um, it? Yeah, it's so good. Like, I'm enjoying it more than I did the first time around, for sure. I think really, it's probably because really it looks and plays better. Yeah, definitely, it really does. I think I preferred one's gameplay slightly like more than two. Okay. Because one, you can use like any weapon you want, whereas two, you have to use the specific weapons for your class. Hmm. I've only got like two pistols, which is a bit boring. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, but I'm using powers. The powers are fun. I'm going through it. Playing it on insanity as well, which is rather difficult, but I'm getting through it. <laughs> You're a fucking lunatic. I am. <laughs> As I'm playing on insanity, I'm, I'm insane. Uh, That's fair. <laughs> It's fun. It's it's fun. It's I guess it's like Elden Ring, like it's a challenge. But when you beat it, it's like very satisfying. It's like, oh, finally, yeah, it's stupid encounter. <laughs> uh, so that's that. Stressed, and, uh... grey hairs everywhere. But you're satisfied. <laughs> you've, you've, you've done what you needed to do. What you set out <laughs> yeah. to do. Yeah, exactly. I just want a stupid trophy. That's what it's all about. Trophies and achievements. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Just trophies and achievements. Yeah. Uh, and the other thing, uh, I guess, is that. Uh, WWE 2K22, which I'm sure we talk more about in detail in a bit. But yeah, we'll get into it. We'll, we will get into that in uh, in just a little while for sure. Yeah, really good. Um, but I'm sure there's other other things, but I won't talk about anymore. <coughs> all day. Uh, how about you, Steve? What have you been playing? Uh, what indeed? Uh, I've finished. I finished Halo, the campaign. Uh, nice, nice. Of Halo. Uh, I know I was streaming it, but I was finding that I was getting really, really frustrated and. Um, didn't want to come across as frustrated on the stream. So I thought, I'll finish this offline. And actually, I found it a lot more enjoyable. Uh-huh. Um, whether that's the pressure of streaming or whatever, I don't know. Some I'll, I'll, I think it probably I'll, is. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll get over. Um, and yeah, I went and actually, I, I was I was glad to have finished it. But then I was like, oh, it's finished. You know, I'm going to carry on for another hour and just blow things up and stuff. So... You know, it is a game that I did enjoy. I think my, my biggest criticism of it is that it's very repetitive. Mm-hmm. You know, it's go to this place, blow that up, put a power seed in there, sort that bridge out, kill this person. You, you think Halo thing, Infinite? Yeah. You think Halo Infinite's repetitive? Play the first one. Every <laughs> single only, area looks imagine. exactly the same. You're just yeah, running through corridor. corridors. <laughs> through doors yeah exactly yeah it's, yeah. it's the same yeah. fucking thing for hours it's great <laughs> yeah. Yeah. because the, the gunplay is great but i mean when you yeah. finish it does the map open up can you go into all the side stuff that's uh that's there yeah so it, it opens up and it tells you where um like a lot more of the sort of hidden stuff is so the uh i forget the name of it the things that you have to collect so you can upgrade that it basically tells you where where they are um, so yeah, it does open up. It opens up a lot more, which which probably makes it a bit more enjoyable as well because it mm-hmm. opens it up a, a, a bit more. So um, I finished that. I uh, I bought Cyberpunk, but I've only done a couple of hours uh, on that. But That's so cool. far, you know, looks I'm pretty impressed. I'm pretty impressed with it. It's pretty good. Yeah. Don't want to now, check out now. Cool. Now I've got a PS5 version. I want to like proper jump in. And check yeah. It out. So I got yeah. I got the, me too. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, what do you think? So you've played a couple of hours of Cyberpunk. Um, you know, yeah. not something you would usually probably jump no, into, but, no. you know, the last couple of things you've played, you've played Far Cry, which is a big open-world mm-hmm. FPS. Um, you've played Halo, which is uh, less open-world, but, you know, still a big-time FPS. And now you jump, yeah. you're jumping into Cyberpunk. What, yeah. what do you think to it so far in comparison to those other two games? Uh, it feels like there's going to be a lot more variety. Uh, and I feel like there's there's going to be more tits. 
just yeah, a lot more, a lot more tits. Um, you know, huge penis if you want one. Um, yeah, for sure. You can give yourself an absolute whopper. It's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I have because just like know, real life, just like exactly like real life. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's yeah. I, I'm trying to be as realistic as possible when I'm creating my. Uh, so you, know, my you gave yourself so. a vagina. Yeah, a shaved, <laughs> a shaved one though. Um, shaved. Got to keep it classy. Shaved. Yeah, You've got to keep it classy. You know, keep it clean. The, the you know the streets of uh, the streets of Night City. That you know you don't know what you're yeah. going to pick up. Keep it clean. Please. No, no. <laughs> but no, it's um, <laughs> oh, Jesus. What are we talking about? Um, I don't know. Willies, I think. Um, yeah. It, it looks it looks really cool. I, I don't say I've barely like a couple of hours, uh, but. Yeah, I, I'm. i really. I'm really looking forward to getting into it and just seeing what all the different things I can do with it, and you know, all the different missions and side missions and all the different things that go with it. So yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I played a, a game called Gravity Chase on stream cool. as well, yeah, uh, which awesome. is just basically Wipeout. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, really easy wipeout. thousand game score as well. So I'll carry on with that and, and get that. Well, that might be one for you, Finn. <laughs> Finn's eyes oh, yeah. just lit up. <laughs> Finn's, they, they, he was like, oh, easy achievements. <laughs> easy achievements. Um, yeah, so that was, yeah, so that was, that was cool. You know, it's a fun, uh, I, I wouldn't want to play it in like VR. Jesus, motion sickness would be awful. Um, yeah. Not that it is, but you know what I mean. Um, I downloaded Madden 22 just because I could and had mm -hmm. a couple of games, but then needed to free some space up for, uh 2k 22 so uh, that soon went and um yeah so and i've been playing quite a bit of forza horizon 5 so it's not a game i've really played a hell of a lot of and been playing a lot more of it recently and i just forgot how how amazing it is and how good it is yeah i like the driver you... task in forza. yeah and for some reason, Sonny's drive drive hates me and he keeps crashing into me. I don't like it. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's the, what I like about it is that I, the driver <laughs> tasks pick up the, um, the the style that you drive in, 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 the, in the game if you play it. Yeah, it's cool. So, you know, based on what you're saying, I clearly have an aggressive <laughs> driving style in the game. It seems that way, yeah. <laughs> win, win by any means. Exactly. Watch too much Fast and Furious. That's what's going on. I, I imagine my driver's hard to keep crashing into walls every five minutes. That's pretty what I do. Because <laughs> Steve, you you were saying uh, you text me and you were sort of like um, saying that you liked Forza Horizon Five, but mm. you sort of not played it that much because it felt like four just in a different setting. Which you you're absolutely right. But yeah, now you jump back but... in and you were sort of saying that you, actually this is pretty phenomenal. Yeah, I I can't I think I'd 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 forgotten that there's it's not just a, a um it's not just a racing game in that you just do a bunch of races. Yeah. You know, you you've got there's there's a story element to it as well. Uh there's there's the unlock unlocking of, of things and setting up different areas and different festival areas and you know and, and again I, I I think I just kinda I forgot that, that all of that is part of the game as well. And you know, just just that enjoying just being able to drink. You don't have to, you know, be winning races and trying to, you know, because you, you unlock really nice cars and really good cars with relative ease. You've just got to do mm -hmm. various things, you know, even if you just, you know, knock over a few things or, or um, you know, the, like the barn finds, they're really cool to do. And yeah. there's just so much to do. And I, and I said this when the game came out that, you know, God, it is. It's not just a great racing game, but it's just a great game overall because there's just mm -hmm. so much you can do. They've, they've, it's added that other, and, and other games do it as well. Other racing games do it as well, but it's added that extra dimension to you. Just your bog standard, jump in a car, race, win, next one, race. Mm -hmm. You know. So and um, the, uh, and I've reminded myself by uh, by having to play with a photo mode just how graphically amazing and stunning it actually is as well and, yeah, the, and, the, and, the, and the setting of mexico where one minute you're in uh kind of a, a typical mexican town then the next you're in the jungle and then you're then you're up in in the mountains and then you're you know in a more ancient part and then you're in the jungle and stuff it's just incredible 
such a good game. Yeah, it's yeah, really, and it's only going to get bigger as well because obviously, you know, the, um, in the next couple of months, uh, you you know, the expansions will start to uh, to yeah. roll out. There's always two big expansions for Forza, and they always pump uh, a ton more cars in there. And of course, you've got the season stuff as well. So, you know, it's I mean, Forza Horizon Four literally lasted all the way up until Forza Horizon Five came out, and yeah. to keep a player base going for that long is is a very difficult thing to do, I think, especially. In today's day and age, where people's um, attention, you know, often wanes towards other things, me being one of those people, you know, and <laughs> it's yeah, it's 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 a truly, it's it's a really it's a technical masterpiece for a start. It's just yeah. phenomenal. Um, looks great, sounds great, plays great, and the the sheer amount of content in it is is. Uh, We'll keep you. We'll just keep you going for ages. And if you did buy the season pass stuff, um, then obviously you've got two massive expansions that are going to come your way yeah. as well. So, yeah. I, I mean, the, the, there's elements of it are just like that. Uh, it, it's similar to a way like with um, Flight Simulator, where it's just it can be quite relaxing. You know, yeah. just oh, like definitely, I agree. Yeah, and trying to you know because you've got that you've got that goal of trying to drive down every road that's in the game. Yeah, you know, and even if you just think, oh, there's a there's a light grey area on the map, I'll go and have a, a whiz around, and then you un, you know you you see a different part of the game, you're like, oh, you know, wow, and yeah, you know, the, the the map itself is very similar to to the previous one, you know, I can there's parts where I've driven in five where I so I, I recognise that very same sort of setup in four, you know, like yeah. with the bridge bridge that connects one side to another and various different things, you think, oh, that's very similar to four which was obviously set great britain so yeah. you know th there is that element to it and i know that people have kind of picked up on that and gone oh it's just the same game but in a different country but th there's a lot more to it than that a lot more yeah. to it yeah it, it isn't just the same game in a different country i don't think no no i don't think so and i think it's one of them that potentially if i was to jump in back into four although it's still an it would i doubt no doubt it is still an amazing game that i would uh -huh. you know spend hours playing i think you would notice a difference for sure oh god yeah of course you definitely would yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i mean the premise is the same um but the, you know it's a it's a, a different game yeah yeah definitely Definitely. The same could be said for one of the games that I've been playing, which uh, we'll talk about in a sec. Yeah, yeah. So, and and then, so other than um, Forza, I, I jumped onto uh, WWE 2K22 for uh, a couple of hours the other night, and yet yeah, so far so good. Uh, I, I think you've 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 played it more than me, so I'll leave that one to uh -huh. you. So, but yeah, looks so far pretty good. I'm impressed. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I've been playing. A, a lot of different stuff. I mean, th this year has been crazy stacked already with games. Mm. I mean, it's mental, really. Um, so, I mean, we'll start with Horizon Forbidden West. Obviously, yeah. the, the big PlayStation exclusive that uh, released uh, a couple of weeks back. And it is, it's exactly what you expect it to be. You know, it's a, a very high standard for a, a single-player PlayStation exclusive. Um I don't think it's perfect. You know, not many games are, but I don't. Yeah. I think graphically, it isn't as impressive as I thought it was going to be. Mm, okay. Now I say this because, and you know, there's there's, and this has been addressed in the the notes from Gorilla. So they basically what they've said is there's a shimmer issue that they're trying to rectify, and I think oh. once that shimmer issue goes away and everything is smoothed out a little bit more, the game will look phenomenal. Mm. Now, yeah. now, I think the, the, the characters themselves, they look they look brilliant. They really do look great. A lot of detail in the skin and um, just, just, you know, very small details. Like Aloy's got peach fuzz, for example, you know, so stuff oh, like believe, that. Aloy's a beard girl. I can't believe it. Oh, oh yeah, I know. For <laughs> fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen yeah. another human before? They, no, <laughs> they, they, that's the thing. They haven't. <laughs> they, they haven't. <laughs> yeah, they haven't. They, they just haven't. Especially a girl. Uh. <laughs> okay, yep, gone Actually, a female, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know, there's just very little intricate details that, you know, don't need to be there, but are, and uh, the characters look really phenomenal. But it's the, it's the, the, and the setting itself is beautiful, but it isn't as, um, 
it isn't as it isn't as smooth and as striking initially as the first one was. That's fair. I think what doesn't help is the fact that it's also on PS4. It's not yeah, like I agree, PS5 yeah. exclusive. Yeah. But then you can compare like probably PS5 uh, exclusives, like something like uh, like Demon Souls, and compare that to games that are on like both. Like Demon Souls looks mm-hmm. just looks incredible. Like looks better, or like Ratchet and Clank, it just looks. Yeah. I'd argue better than like a cross chain game. Which... No, I agree. I agree. I agree completely. Yeah. Um, and Doug, Doug and Bruno, I'm not trying to not trying to crap on Horizon Forbidden West because it, it is phenomenal. It's really, mm. really good. Uh, I'm getting through it, um, albeit slowly because I've been distracted by a, a couple of other games that I've been playing. Uh, but it, it's really good, and the the story's good. The characters are interesting. I think I feel like it's more um, of an intriguing tale than the first one was. Yeah, that's right. Essentially, it's it's more or less the same game. Yeah, but well, so what I'm seeing of it, it looks very uh, uh, similar gameplay wise, which isn't a bad yeah, thing. Yeah, and it is, but you know, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. Exactly. Yeah, it's like there's, there's, there's new bits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, there's new bits because of course there is. You know, that because they have to, there has to be. Otherwise, you may as well have just brought um, Horizon Zero Dawn out again. Yeah, but yeah. you know, th- there is new bits. Um, but obviously, it's the story that carries these games, the story in the world that they're set in. And obviously, this one's set in a different location to the first one. Um, and it, it all it all does look great. Uh, I just want that shimmer issue to piss off because I noticed it straight away. And I I can't stop seeing it. Yeah. It's one and they things, address... like, once you see it, you can't, you can't yeah. unsee it. And yeah. they address it every time they bring a patch out because they've not been able to solve the issue yet. Now yeah. uh, it looks good in quality. In I'm playing it in performance mode because I can't play at 30 frames per second anymore. I just can't. <laughs> You've been spoiled by 60 FPS. I have, and playing the the uh, 30 FPS mode is I don't know. It, it's just something about it. It just feels off. Yeah, it depends. It goes. It depends on the game by game basis for me. It's like Elden Ring, I'm playing at 30 FPS in quality mode. Mm-hmm. But it's like Forza, I play it. Oh, Forza, yeah, Forza, I play at 60 FPS or Halo. Yeah. Let's get back to it. Feels better. I don't know. I That's suppose other makes more like yeah. slower based and like pause and yeah, definitely. Halo I mean, uh, Horizon is quite yeah. uh, quite a frantic pace. It moves very because obviously with Elden Ring, uh, the movements are very sort of. Uh, I mean, not it's not they, they don't move as the characters in Elden Ring don't move as free as the characters in Horizon. If you understand what I mean by that, mm. yeah, yeah, it's like very slow and deliberate. It's like yes, it's not frantic, yeah. like you're not spinning around, like that, yeah, you're <laughs> right. Yeah, you're not it. sort of diving out of the way and being able to shoot a uh, you know a hook up in the sky or gliding all over the place and stuff like that. So there's <laughs> exactly, a lot more yeah. going on in the world in Horizon in comparison to Elden Ring. So yeah, uh, 30 fr- frames per second just doesn't work for me on it, but I'm still going to carry on. Um, you know, regardless of whether they fix the shine problem or not, I'm just going to have to get over it. That's the long and short of it. But it is very good. It is deserving of the high praise that it's had. And it's just another great addition to the PlayStation exclusive library. It really is. Yeah, big time. Um, so, yeah, um, from one PlayStation exclusive to another, I've been playing Gran Turismo 7. Ooh, very nice. And it's very, very good. Now, it's it's Gran Turismo. It's, it's Gran Turismo back on form. <laughs> Gran Turismo Sport was fine, but it launched... A shell of what it should have been. There was, mm. it wanted to be an esports racing game. Yeah, but people didn't want that. People don't want that from Gran Turismo. You know, uh, people want that the single player campaign. They want the Yaris Cup. They want to win their licenses. <laughs> All that sort That's of cool. stuff. You know, um, <laughs> and this is um, just a, a just such a welcome return to form for Gran Turismo. It's beautiful. You know, uh, it runs, it just runs like an absolute dream on PS5. Uh, this is a cross platform game as well, but this is, yeah. I mean, the PS5 version is phenomenal. Yeah, that's good. It's stunning. It looks uh, I claim, yeah, and it, it, it is. Um, you can have it performance mode or you can have it like sort of quality and ray tracing, but I've, I have it on performance. And nice. it's, it still looks absolutely unbelievable. That's podcast. Hey, welcome. Cool. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> and there's there's so much content as well. It, like it's the, the the main sort of like campaign bit 
is called like uh, it's like Gran Turismo Cafe or something. And you, it's such a Gran Turismo thing to do as well. Like <laughs> Gran Turismo is up its own ass. It knows what it is. It knows <laughs> that it, it can just be up its own ass, and it, it is. So basically, the owner of this cafe gives you tasks to do to fill up the menu book. All right. Yeah, I know. It, it sounds so fucking stupid. It's like, yeah, we need to go and do these races. And when you've done them, you know, each one will gift you a car. And that car, you know, will then fill up your menu book, come back to the cafe, and I'll tell you about the cars. That's literally what the game is. <laughs> right. But there's something strangely awesome about it, like yeah. the menu stuff in the cafe. But. <laughs> It's just so good. There's so many, there's so much to do. Uh, you can do the licenses. You can just go and do random races. You can play online if you really want to. Uh, you can buy new and secondhand cars. You can tune your cars. You can get, um, you know, skins for your cars and your racing outfit. Currently, I'm sporting an Iron Man helmet and <laughs> racing suit, which nice. absolutely rips. Uh, and there's just so <laughs> much to it. And if you're a car lover, I'm not a car lover, but if you are a car lover, then it's just your wet dream of a game because there's so much um, passion for, for for motorsport gone into this game and cars in general, not just motorsport, but like cars in general. Um, yeah, it's 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 truly incredible. Like they, the the history of cars, um, you know, past, present, and you know, looking into the future has all been sort of captured and detailed almost to perfection, mm. and. It really is uh, a phenomenal, a phenomenal racing game. I've seen people cool. like I saw the idiots straight away, like oh, <laughs> you know, uh, comparing this to Forza Horizon. You can't compare the two because they're two very, very different games. Yeah, yeah, big time. Yeah. And in my opinion, like people were saying, oh, you know, you know, compare it to the new Forza Motorsport when that comes out. But yeah. Forza Motorsport still. F- isn't what Gran Turismo is. Mm, Gran yeah. Turismo is a racing simulator, you know, at its very core. You know, yeah. and it, it says it in the title, the, the real racing simulator. Yeah. And it is that, you know, cars aren't flying along uh, a gazillion miles an hour. You, you have to, everything is done um, so purposely and it's crafted so carefully that it teaches you how to play a racing game properly. Whereas with, you know, Forza, even the motorsport series, you could blast your way through. Yeah. (laughs) It's a, you know, motorsport is a track based racer instead of like an open world game, but it's still very different to Gran Turismo. Mm. Yeah. Uh, But it's so good. I I can't honestly recommend Gran Turismo 7 enough. It's, um it's got me completely hooked and i think it's it's really superb and it, it will easily be my game of the year this year even this early on wow it'll be my game of the year i think it's i mean for my personal preference it's the the best game i've played so far this year i think it's better than horizon and i think it's better than almost anything else that i've played as well oh, and i can't late. wait to see what's added uh, and what's to come from it next i mean this is a, a very welcome return to form for Gran Turismo. Yeah, mm. it does look really only, good. Only took eighty five years to come out as well, so that's great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it does, it does look it does look really really good. Yeah, uh, yeah and, it, and it really I look, is. I look forward to playing it when I'm around yours next. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we'll uh, yeah we'll definitely get it all checked out, and it's it's super smooth as well. Jesus Christ, mm. like you've still got the porno jazz music in the menus <laughs> and like everything just sounds so crisp the 3d audio is great on it and That's everything's cool. just done with such purpose mm. uh, you, you can tell by the way the game works just that everything has been done with such precision and it's all been done on purpose if you understand what i mean by that yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah for sure like it's it's done with the intention to make the best use out of the playstation 5 i'm sure the playstation 4 version is awesome as well but it's it's made to use that sort of that pulse 3D headset, and it's made to use the the dual sense in you know exactly how it should be used, and it does everything so right, and it, it's just great. It really is. Cool. Awesome. Um, so yeah, let, you know, let's talk about WWE 2K22. Mm. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's talk about it. Um, it is good. That, that, 
that's the most important <laughs> thing. Straight out of the gate, it's good. Um, yeah. You know, uh, and I've seen nothing but positives from everybody about it. Finn, what did, what did you think? So you played it before I played it um, on Monday. Uh, shout out to 2K, by the way. Thank you for hooking us up with yeah, thank you uh, very much. Um, yeah. the codes. It is very much appreciated. Big time. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's it's been, you know, great to sort of work alongside those guys putting stuff up uh, when things are released and all that kind of stuff. Won't bore you with it. But yeah, Finn, what do, what do you think to it so far? Uh, yeah, I really like it. Um, I burst some time. I, in fact, I didn't blame around it matters ever since I got it. Um, uh, yeah, it's like, like, it's not, like the intention to detail is incredible. Like, graf graphically, like the entrance is, it's so like spot on and perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like it just look, it looks like, it just looks like TV. It's it's insane. That's what, that's what I've been doing mostly. Just like watching everyone's different entrances. It's like, whoa, mm. so cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, match spacing, I really like. Like the first match I had, it was uh, it was Seth Rollins versus Hollywood Hulk Hogan <laughs> in the in the Thunderdome in Boy Rumble 2020 or something like that. <laughs> I love that they put ever. Thunderdome on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. kind of creepy seeing our actual real human face looking at you. So, Do uh, they move? Weird. Yeah, I've not <laughs> so done Thunderdome yet, so yeah, it's wow. it's no, weird, I but I kind of get used to it. Um, but yeah, it just felt like an, an actual match. Like Hulk Hogan started kicking my ass. Uh, straight away, and I kind of got used to it. Like, okay, I'm fighting back. Uh, to like a Phoenix Splash, he kicked out of that. Whoops, Magic Hogan kicked out of one. Um, yeah, or oh, so surprisingly, <laughs> no sell it at all. Completely just got straight back up. <laughs> just, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, he he went for his uh, leg drop. I moved out of the way last second, hit him with a stomp. One, two, three. Seth wins. I was like, wow, cool. so cool. Nice. So it felt like an actual match. It was very cool. Mm. Yeah, they nailed, they nailed the pacing of it for sure. Yeah, They've yeah. definitely now the pacing of it. I mean, a lot of people have sort of um, said that it's difficult to get used to the new controls, uh, which to a degree I I do agree with. It's very mm -hmm. different because obviously you yeah. can grapple like normal, yeah. but they've opted for like a combo system this time as well. So, yeah. for example, so square, um, if you're playing on PlayStation, is light attack. X is heavy attack. So, you, you know, if you press, if you hold forward on the, the left stick, square, square, x and then circle he'll do two punches a kick and then a grapple move so if you if you finish with the grapple button the combo will end in a grapple move yeah if that yeah. makes sense so we're not yeah. talking sort of combos like wwf warzone or attitude or anything like that no they're, no. they're very the they're, they're they're done so that it it smoothly fits in with the pace of the game yeah yeah yeah, yeah big time and it does take a little while to get used to because I was playing the Rey Mysterio showcase and it was like, do a combo move. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, yeah, I listen. watched, I, I did the tutorial, but <clears throat> I, I had it. I had issues in the tutorial. <laughs> like, so obviously I'm, I'm on I'm on, uh, on Xbox, so it was it was X X A B. So it's like yeah. light light punch, light kick, heavy punch, and then like a face buster sort of thing. Just wouldn't do it. It just would not do it. It was like X, very X, Michael Cole on you there, by the way. B X X A B, and I was like, it just wouldn't do it. He just kept, he just kept strangling him, and I was like, what the fuck are you doing? And it, it really wound me up. And, and but I got, I it got there in the end. But yeah, the combo system is is something to get used to. Definitely. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. very different. But I like that they they had to they had to change it up. Yeah, so they mm. added the fighting game mechanics, which. And I like fighting games, so I kind of got used to it pretty quick. Yeah. Uh, but I suppose if you're not used to that kind of thing, it can be a bit jarring. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but that, I, I, I use it all the time quick, now. But... Yeah, I use yeah, it all yeah. the time now. I think it's really cool. It's a really cool feature. So like, do like the, the fact... to do the punches and kicks, and then end in a grapple move. That's great. Yeah. yeah I like the fact you can counter as well. You can predict what they're going to do next. You can like counter. Yeah. Fight back. That's very cool. Yeah, it is really um, cool. Yeah. So that's how I've been playing random matches. I downloaded some superstars. And they're really, really good looking Cody Rhodes. Mr. Dawson awesome. had a moveset and everything. Oh, that's nice. awesome. Yeah. And now that Chris did, it have, um, did it have a picture as well? Because uh, you can import pictures in this time. Um, it didn't, but I did see the fact you can do that, which is very mm. cool. I might do that. Um, I have to make myself a picture of myself. And... <laughs> that would actually be amazing if we did that. Yeah. No, I have to make, no, I'll have to try and make all three of us and like, but because I was done, that'd be cool. Yeah. Do like a universe made all three of us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be amazing. Yeah. Um, that's my next job up the next few weeks. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, down the down the few superstars, down the Chris Jericho, and it's funny because the announcer uh, announced him as Chris Jerry. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> amazing! Nailed it. <laughs> that's amazing. But well, did that's say so Cody Rhodes? So that's pretty cool. That's Cody and Rhodes. Oh, okay. Both in there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wonder um, why. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so much content in the game this year as well. Oh God, there's loads. It's I so much. It's not, it. it's not overwhelming. Like I haven't mean, even touched yeah. stuff yet. But it's like this uh, Baby Studio story mode thing, My Rise uh, story mode, like custom superstar story mode, universe yeah. mode. You can play as a single superstar or like just like classic everyone sandbox. Yeah, sandbox. That's it. GM mode. Um, online. It's crazy. Yeah, uh, there's, like there's so much. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, there's so much to it. Um, so I've played my GM, cool. and okay. I played it. It basically took up my entire Tuesday <laughs> because <laughs> I was addicted. Like you do the initial draft, and then basically you have to work the budget. You have to work within your budget. So yeah, right. you have to you book the arena that costs money. You book um, the 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 stage setup that you want. So you could pick like Capital Wrestling Center. Uh, so yeah, that's all part of the like the arena booking. So you can have like uh, a high school or like Thunderdome or Capital Wrestling Center, stuff like that. And you, what kind of production you want? So how big the fireworks budget is, all to sort of yeah, it's it, you just you're basically in control of everything. And then you book mm-hmm. the matches. You don't have to play them. You you simulate them, and then uh, the crowd react usually very harshly to them. And you have to sort of uh, make sure that this, the superstars that you're using, their fighting classes, uh, like not. So basically, you would have a giant versus a cruiserweight, and those two styles gel well because they have exciting matches. You have a fighter versus a bruiser, um, and they would have good matches. So there's different sort of combinations of things that um, you put together, and that's what you know the crowd react to. That's cool. And if you don't do these things, Triple H is in your emails, bollocking you, basically. <laughs> so you don't want that. So look, it's fine to have a face versus a face, but why? Yeah. Have have face versus heel. You know, so it takes a little bit of getting used to, but when once you're once you are used to it, it's so ridiculously addictive. Like you could dip into the free agent pool and like there's like some made up people in there, which I'm assuming are like 2K staff. Um, they're there and they cost less money or like you've got like other people that there's like a new free agent pool every week and um, you could also sign legends to like short term contracts if you want to sort of you know boost the excitement of your brand it's it's just really really good fun yep there's not a lot to it it's basically three matches per TV show and then there's more for pay-per-views there's no mid-card championships which I find very bizarre um, no strange. Uh, but you do you sort of have a, a men's world title and a women's world title on on your shows but oddly enough it feels like it's enough mm. yeah because you yeah because you've, you've got so the sort of not the stress that's probably the wrong word but you, you've got you, you've got a you know because you only have a certain amount of matches a world title and a women, you know, a men's and a women's world title seems like enough. Whilst you're trying to build feuds to end at a pay per view, yeah. so basically, once you've sort of reached, so the rivalries they level up, and when the, when they're at level four, and you have uh, a match for uh, with that rivalry at the pay per view, the rivalry will end. Yeah, cool. But you sense. have to build the rivalry up. So whether it's like a promo every week. Uh, to do it, whether it's matches or run-ins. There's, there's a lot to it. It's well worth checking out, but it's super addictive. Um, and you can pick like you can pick a whole year if you want to. I did did like a 15-week one to start. But then I was like, that's too addictive. I need to do it an entire year. So yeah, nice. definitely check it out. It's really good. Uh, I've been doing the Rey Mysterio showcase as well. Cool. And that's really cool, the way that it blends mm-hmm. real footage in with the matches. That's awesome. Yeah, that yeah, it's cool. really cool. It's really cool. So you've probably like seen it on the advert where Ray does the Hurricane Runner off the apron at SummerSlam to Dolph Ziggler, and it goes from okay. gameplay to actual footage. Mm-hmm. It does that during during the whole thing. It's so uh. well produced. So you, it's basically done like a documentary type thing. Um, no commentary on the matches. It's like dramatic music, and then once oh. you sort of reach a significant cool. part, it'll literally switch the footage seamlessly 
to the, uh, from the match. So from game to match, and then back again to game once um, you know Ray's finished telling his part of the story. That's yeah. very cool. I like that. That is cool. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. really really cool. cool. But like you said, Finn, graphically it's it's awesome. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. There's a shitload of released wrestlers on there, but you know that there's no way that could have been helped. Yeah, like that's more people to play with. Well, I don't see why it's a negative thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't <laughs> see it as a negative at all. I actually think it's quite cool in some some aspects. Yeah, we've got Keith Lee. That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it you, weird you, like some people some people got left in, some didn't? Like Kyler Riley's still there, but no Bobby Fish or Adam Cole. Yeah. No Danny Bryan. Ducker's in there. He's been gone for not this how long. Yeah. yeah. Danny Bryan. Um it's weird, but as I say it's no not a bad thing. Got these people in there. It is a lot more up to date than I was anticipating as well, because like you've got mm. um, you know, Orton and Riddle are RK Bro. And yeah. Otis, okay. yeah, despite Tucker being there, Otis and Chad Gable are the Alpha Academy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so stuff yeah. like that's really cool. So it's, it is a lot more up to date than previous years as well. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Very cool. Yeah. It's yeah. really good. Wealth of DLC coming as well. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah, seen this. Yeah. Seen those lists. Crazy. So, yeah. Crazy. But it's a, it's a definite improvement. I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, you know, there's just so much to do. I'm going to get so many hours out of the game. And yeah. I'm glad. I'm just glad that, again, this is another game that's returning to form. You know, yeah. um, like like I was talking about Gran Turismo before, WWE 2K22 is absolutely a return to form for the series. Yes. Looks like a uh, doable, well, for you, Sonny, it'll be platinum. Looks like a fairly doable yeah. one. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Because there's no one, there's no online trophies. I don't think with this one. Yeah, no online trophies, which is really good. Uh, so yeah. you know, it, it's the plat, the the achievement list, trophy list. Yeah, I, I think it's it's definitely. Doable, I think it's for sure. Yeah, I do as well. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So that's WWE 2K22. Go check it out. It's out now. Out now. Yeah, do it. It hits different. Yeah. It literally does as well, which is the. Uh, <laughs> Which is the, which is actually um, the most important thing. Imagine if he didn't hit different; it was just shit, and like, <laughs> did all this promotion for it. It hits different. It's exactly the fucking same, and it's like, oh god. Uh, I'm glad he's been doing, getting good reviews as well. And like, yeah, good. I had one glitch, I think, which was I had the match with uh, Edge. I think Edge kind of it was outside. He picked up a chair and just kind of stood there, not did doing anything. But when I left mm. the ring, he came around and picked himself. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. I, 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 had a, I had a little bit of a, a rope glitch, but not, but it's it's the same kind of rope glitch that's been there in every 2K game. Mm. Where, where, you know, where the feet knock the bottom rope and it doesn't quite move naturally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's just a, me- a mechanics thing. It's not probably not even a glitch, really. It's just a... Video games. That has yeah. to be it's such video, a difficult it's, thing it's, to it's, nail down. Oh, I can't. Yeah, it, it must be. It must yeah. be. Yeah, yeah. But no, I, I'm. I've say so I've only played a couple of hours. Yeah, and all the stuff that you said, like with the pacing of it, you know, you haven't got people doing drop kicks at 500 miles an hour. They actually, <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're actually, you know, really going for it and having to really properly. Whereas it, they make it just look. Previous games, they look just look like it's like, oh yeah, we, like, yeah, <laughs> you know, right. stand standing drop kicks. They just look like, oh yeah, they do them, do them for a piece of cake. But these actually yeah. look like, yeah, they take a bit. And out you can like and stuff. You can like duck and weave and roll out of the way and stuff like that. Yeah, as well. that's cool it's, as well. Just I completely yeah. revamped it, and I like the new camera angle as well. Like where yeah. it feels like it's a bit more in the ring. Yes, like, yeah, it just yeah, looks a like closer. a bit more like television presentation more than anything yeah. else. Yeah. yeah, I like the replays as well. You can like twist the uh, camera angles, yeah. things like that. Mm. Um, yeah, what's the way tables break is more impressive this year. And yeah, I like the way that up. they use the weapons as well because they're a lot slower than other than like swinging chairs around like they <laughs> like they weigh nothing at all. Yeah, the tables before in like the last few games, it's been like you can only do certain moves on there. Like I have to lean them against the table first and then do the table move. And the table kind of snaps in half, uh, yeah. but this one, this one, you can just do whatever you want. Like I superplex someone, superplex someone through a table that's happened to be there. Like, yeah, it, it just works. I don't have to do anything. It's just cool. <laughs> a lot of stuff. Also, the commentary is not terrible. Yeah, it's all right. Like it's actually in place, yeah, so it's yeah. 
doesn't repeat itself and yeah it's it's everything's all in the right place which is really good for a change yeah that's very so, cool. yeah good times wwe 2k 22 very good very good, good. Stuff. congrats 2k on making it a good game <laughs> it's about damn time <laughs> it really is <laughs> it really is time about time bloody hell um, so we've got the dlc list here, if you want to talk about that quickly yeah do it uh so we've got the bandai back which is got a lot of giants in there we've got yokozuna which is the characters uh, from Bonsai, the TV show from Channel 4. So, Shaky yeah. Handman. Um, <laughs> he's there. Uh, <laughs> Bonsai. I used to love that show. So yeah. fucking stupid, though. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it back. That's the kind of TV that we need. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, we've got Yokozuna. Uh, awesome. Omaga. Very cool. Rikishi. Nice. Omos. Big guy. And uh, Casey Ganton's at Katandaro. Giant. Yeah. It was tiny. <laughs> it's a tiny, <laughs> tiny woman. Re really out of place. It feels like a feels like a Brazzers pack. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a very specific uh, fetish you got there. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Petite brunette. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So um, so the Brazzers that feels pack, to me like a, it. feels to me like a, a bit of a rib. That one doesn't it. It's very strange. Um, yeah, it's weird yeah. that they just shoot <laughs> on her in there. That's yeah, they had a bit of it when they were to, uh, to, uh, put it here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's, a it's, cool that, that, um, it's cool that Omos is going to be in it, though. I didn't even know. Well, obviously, they didn't announce any of the DLC guys until like yesterday, but uh, I think it's cool that he's going to be in it. I like that Omega's going to be in it as well. That rules. Yeah, yeah that's that that really cool. Like the PS2, I think they were saying. A long time. Yeah. So the Brazzers Ooh. pack, that's out um, <laughs> next month, isn't it? Uh, yes, I believe so. Yeah, able to And that's what it's called now, the Brazzers Pack. Brazzers Pack, yeah. <laughs> uh, after that, in May, May 17th, uh, we've got the Most Wanted Pack. It's, uh, it includes the Boogeyman, uh, Cactus Jack, uh, Ilya Dragunov, UK champion. Nice. Very nice. Awesome. Uh, India Hartwell, Mrs. Um, Loomis, and, yep. uh, and Beta. Very cool. Really, that's a really random pack, isn't it? Like Very random. They always, very, really random. Yeah, there seems like there's no real thought behind it. They've just given them random names and thrown superstars in there. It's so random. I like it though. Like the first one is the first one is fine, like big big guys, but then obviously you got Casey. And <laughs> this one, they've just chucked everyone in there. Yeah. Because Indy yeah. Hartwell and Vader are the same. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, then in June, June seventh, we got uh, a kid from NXT UK. Yeah, uh, Harry Kane Helms, hell yeah, nice, my favorite. Uh, Nash Carter and Wesley from uh, nice. NXT, and Stacey Keebler, random, but I like. Yeah, it. again, what? <laughs> why? <laughs> Extremely <laughs> random. <laughs> uh, and then we have got the clowning around pack, June twenty eighth, which has well, who's Doink in this clown? One? Yeah, oh. Doink the clown, very random. <laughs> uh, British bulldog, I'm sure. Uh, yep. Do drop, clowning around. Uh, Mr. Cool. T, yep. okay. Uh, Ronda Rousey and the Brick Boogs. Imagine nice. Ronda Rousey being in the clowning around pack. <laughs> it's so random. Yeah, that's a bit Mr. of a T. Yeah. And imagine Mr. her not being the main focus of that DLC <laughs> pack. <laughs> yeah, right. It's so weird how they've put these together. Well, so yeah. why Mr. T? That is the most random. What? <laughs> I guess it's so you can have Hogan and Mr. T saying that Paul Orndorff okay, is even on so. it so it doesn't even matter does oh, it? So, no. yeah, yeah good point Piper's on uh, it though isn't he so we can have the boxing match from Wrestlemania 2 true, true. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last one in July is a whole damn pack which of course has Rob Van Dam yep awesome uh, Zia Lee cool uh, LA Knight yeah yeah uh, Commander Aziz sure yep sure uh, yep <laughs> And uh, Logan Paul, who uh, you know, someone from our chat will be excited about that. Yeah. And uh, Machine Gun Kelly. Pistol Pete. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Can't Here's like the thing, right? Maybe put <laughs> Commander Aziz in the Bonsai pack instead I'm of thinking yeah, just Bonsai. the same. Exactly. Swap them around. That would make far more sense. <laughs> put, or put, you know, put all the, the, the female characters in a DLC pack together. Yeah. I guess it, yeah. The same make goes. More sense. Yeah, like, the same goes for the guys that are in NXT and NXT UK. Put them in the same yeah. pack. 
Yeah. And then you any other Mr. any T, other legends. Logan Paul. Yeah. Yeah, put yeah, them they, in the same pack, you know? Because yeah. you got like Casey in uh, in the art world, Stacey Keebler, do a drop and Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey, yeah. he's highly one on one. And then there's a saying, DLC yeah. pack. There's one DLC yeah. pack. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. Sorry. So you've got the Dragonov, A <laughs> Kid, uh, MSK, LA Knight. Yeah. 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 Right. There you go. There's a DLC pack. Cool. Yep, yep. And you got his celebrity um, back, machine gun, what's yeah. his name? Logan Paul, etc. Machine C. gun, what's his name? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So you have machine gun Kelly, um Tommy Gun Terry. Paul, to- <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Mr. T. You know, you stick them in a pack if you have to, or just don't have them at all. <laughs> or yeah, just just yeah, stack them off, yeah. Yeah, and then have like Vader, Doink, and some other legends in another pack. Bulldog, yeah. yeah. It shouldn't be difficult, but it is apparently. So <laughs> apparently so. But they're all coming, and that's cool that we're getting a lot of DLC for it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's good because cool. dates are already set out as well. So we know yeah. that when it's coming. Yeah. Awesome. Be cool to be Rob Van Dam and you know, Vader and people like that. Be, be awesome. Yeah, yeah that, to be honest, I'm like I'm looking forward to seeing Omas and Commander Aziz and people that you wouldn't usually give a shit about, but it's cool because they're just gonna be there and you can have like these giant yeah. guys wrestling, it'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. So, mate, up to date, like Rick Boogs and Dewdrop and Yeah, Boogs, yeah, and Dewdrop. That's cool. Very cool. Still need to change the name though, Dewdrop. Still bad. You, <laughs> the fact that oh, yeah, the still... heel now and still it's still being called Dewdrop is weird. Yeah, just change it. Yeah. Just be just... Piper Niven, who cares? Exactly, yeah. What's, yeah. The, What's the big deal? Well, you know, why? I don't know. I, I I'm do happy like that Dragonov's in it. Yeah, me too. Mm. But yeah, yeah, absolutely. Big fan of Dragonov. Big time. Yeah, same. So, yeah, we, we've spent an hour talking about yeah. gaming so far. This is good times. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Um, what are, do you have anything in the way of gaming news? Um, yeah, sure. So, but, <laughs> that's a new Pokemon game. We'll get this quickly. Um, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, very cool. Yep. Looks a lot more like uh, Pokemon Arceus, very open world, which mm. is definitely a good thing. Yes, a fresh, for sure. a fresh take on the formula. I feel like Arceus was like um like a, te- a like um like a tester. Yeah, for exactly. a new open world version of the series. Yeah, it's like, okay. Do people like this? Oh, they do. Cool, sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and carry on with <laughs> what we're doing with new ones. <laughs> yeah, but let's be fair here. It's Nintendo. Even if they're like, oh, people don't like this. Well, it's tough shit now, isn't it? <laughs> do it anyway. <laughs> here it is forever. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. We've got the pictures of the artist actually on here. Nice. So we have the little kitty cat here, Ooh. whose name is. Oh, shit, I've lost it on him. It's uh, Sprigat- Sprigatio or Sprigatito. Spagatito, Spagatito. There you go. <laughs> green, I'm really glad cat. that you're not buttering the names. Yeah, green cat. Green cat. Um, there we go. That's right. <laughs> uh, we have. Uh, oh, God damn it! Free, free Coco. <laughs> free Coco. <laughs> little, 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 Otherwise little, known as orange dinosaur. Yeah, little orange dinosaur. <laughs> and we have. Uh, whoop! No wrong button. Go away. Pop up. Yeah. And we have uh, Blue Duck. Okay, what's his actual name? <laughs> uh, Quaxley. Really? Quaxley, yeah, like a duck. They've Quaxley. not thought about that at all. Now, the other <laughs> ones, they've got like complicated names. This one, uh, what noise does a duck make? It makes a quacking noise. Oh, okay. Yeah. Quaxley. Quaxley. Yeah. Okay. yeah is that, Quaxley. Is that, is that the best you've got? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Quaxley That's it cute. is then, I suppose. Probably got like my head it. up Quackley's ass there. Nice, <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> uh, Finn, who will your starter be? Because obviously, I'm, you know, we're both going to get this. So, of course, I'm torn between uh, the, the, the kitty cat because I like kitty cats and the dog too. Who's just uh, a cute little duck. Yeah, I like dinosaurs though, so I'm That's I'm uh, tempted to go for orange dinosaur guy. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm torn between the cat and the duck. Well, okay. I'll, I'll I'll decide on the day. You'll be the cat. I'm calling it, I'm calling it now. Probably, I'll be the cat, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm going to go dinosaur, I think. I've already picked. There we go. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's been the first Pokemon game I've played, or at least the first mainline Pokemon game I've played in a long, long time. I think White was the last one I played. Are you going to Are you gonna bypass Arceus, or are you going to play it? Um, I thought at this point, I might as well just wait, because, yeah, I've got to play Arceus now. It'd be a bit too close. I might be all Pokemon out by the time it comes out. 
Possibly, Does that make yeah. sense? I've got also, so much Elden Ring and yeah, exactly. Elden yeah, Ring exactly, and yeah. got my new Xbox. So yeah. Are you going to get a uh, Scarlet or Violet? Do you reckon? Scarlet, probably. Cool. I'll get Violet. I'll get whichever one you don't get, so we can trade. Okay, more, yeah, but... we'll go opposite. That's <laughs> That'd be cool. To me. Yeah. Cool. Uh, after that, anything else we got? I don't know. Oh yeah, the um, state of play just happened. It did. It was very Japanese. It was. <laughs> I'm all for it. Um, so Cap- Capcom announced a brand new game of dinosaurs with a red-haired oh, protagonist. Finally! Female. We're finally getting it. We're getting Exo Primal. Uh, oh, yeah! Uh, Wait, what? Well, <laughs> God damn it, Capcom. What's wrong with you? <laughs> All you have to do is remake Dino Crisis like you did Resident Evil. It's not hard. Yeah. <laughs> so instead, we've got what looks like Left for Dead but with hordes of dinosaurs and people in robot suits. Uh, hey, Capcom, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? doing? It's so what easy. You have the formula. You, you have Resident Capcom. Evil 2 remake. It's perfect. Capcom. People love it. It's so easy, Capcom. <laughs> Just fucking remake Dino Crisis. Just do it. Do it, you nerds. Just do that. <laughs> do it, you nerds. Do it, you nerds. <laughs> I just don't, I just don't understand the logic of it. It's so weird. Like, what kind of reaction were they hoping for? <laughs> uh, it's, so, yeah. it's when the when when companies or whatever do things like that. You, you just think to yourself, they must be sat there thinking, yeah, people r- would really love like a remaster <laughs> of Dino Crisis. Yeah, well, fuck them. And then they just, yeah. <laughs> we'll do what we want to do, and they will still buy it. <laughs> Then fuck I mean, you all, and that's it. The thing, They're just like, no, we're not. We're not doing it. We're not bowing down to pressure. Yeah, and listen to our customers. Fuck yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I just can't. I can't believe that this is what they're going with. I know. It's it's so bizarre. It's crazy. It's crazy. The thing is, it doesn't even look that good. No, <laughs> no. It's can't kind of make some weird decisions sometimes. Like, like dinosaurs but... just falling out of the sky like jelly sweets. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so <bizarre. laughs> it's so weird. Good time, Captain. <laughs> they get up and they have their downs. Like Resident Evil remake up, but you will late, keep going up, and then this crap down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, um, just done. Uh, there's also some new uh, Ghostwire Tokyo footage, which looks nice. It's coming out soon. Uh, Dude, I'm stoked for it. It looks awesome. I wasn't sold on it, but I wasn't sold on Deathloop, and Deathloop was my favorite game of last year. So um, I'm really looking forward to this. So much so that I pre-ordered it. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. Very nice. I'm here for it. It looks great. It looks really great. I might not think, oh, I won't buy any more games for a while. I've got Elden Ring. I'll keep them going for a while. (laughs) You just download it off my profile because I've downloaded digital. So True, true. I'll see when else playing it. I'm like, I'm playing it. Jump in now. Yeah, it looks it looks great, and what I like the most about it, it's not on the last gen. Yeah, that's true. That's very cool. This is a PlayStation Five game. Yeah, yeah. So it's gonna have PlayStation Five bells and whistles to it. It's gonna have DualSense, three uh, D three D audio shit. It's gonna be great. I'm, I'm and it looks really, really, really good. Um, the more I've sort of looked into it, uh, yeah, the more hyped I am for it. Awesome, good stuff. Uh, we've got a new Stranger of Paradise demo. It's the Final Fantasy Dark Souls. Um, yet another demo. Apparently, you can carry your progress over to the full game in this one, which is nice. They've also said you can change the difficulty. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's they've, cool. they've said that uh, they're not wanted, they didn't want to be sort of um, uh, tied down into like a difficulty setting, like um, like the From Software games. I guess is what the what they're getting at. Yeah. So you you can you can change it from the menus, and you can change it mid game as well. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Makes sense for this game. It's more actiony than the Dark, like Latin Dark Souls series. So I think that mm. would make sense in this uh, in this context. Plus, with it being Final Fantasy as well, I think it's um, like more of a more of a, a household name in terms yeah. of you know more, gaming in the mainstream. So yeah, they probably want to make deal. it is yeah. It'll probably have you know it'll be just so it's more accessible to the masses. Yeah, it looks really good. I remember, I remember seeing you play it. Was it you yeah, playing it? Fun. Yeah, it was. I you, played yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Got classic Final Fantasy enemies. Um, it just, just, it just looks awesome and it's fun. <laughs> so I can tell you about it. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. Again, it's not going to be one I played day one because Elden Ring. 
but it's more likely to pick up down the line for sure. For cool. sure. Um, what else you got? Uh, we've got a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Cowabunga collection with, with a ton, a hell of a lot of uh, Turtles games included. All 13 to be precise. 13. Uh, wow. Oh, uh, yes, you've got. I the... jizzed in my pants when this was announced <laughs> because these cool. games are <clears throat> what I grew up with. You know, you've got Hyperstone oh, yeah. Heist, you've got Turtles in Time, Tournament Fighters, two versions of it. Um, it looks like the Game Boy version's on there uh, of uh, Turtles as well. And mm -hmm. it's going to be a great... Because obviously you've got the new one coming out this year. So uh, I'm super excited that they're just bringing these games back to life. It's on everything. So it's put, I mean, I mean, I mean, the perfect for Switch. you kidding me? Yeah, mm. big time. Um, yeah, I wasn't a big Turtles guy growing up. But even though I'm looking at this and thinking, oh, hell yeah, this is awesome. I'm getting this. Oh, God, I'm so yeah, hyped for this. I can't wait. Yeah, really can't to, wait. We've got the original arcade game. Uh, we've got Turtles in Time, Ar original arcade version, and the Super Nintendo version. Uh, we've got the original Nintendo NES game, which is fucking impossible, <laughs> but fun. Like most games from that era. Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We've got that, the second and third one. We've got Tournament Fighters, like you said, Hyperset and Heist, uh, and the Game Boy games. So, yeah, incredible. Very cool. All the Turtles goodness, and I am so hyped to play them again. I love those games. Yeah, very cool. Very, very cool. Um, what else have we got? A uh, new, new JoJo's, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure game, the fighting game. I know you're excited. Which had the weirdest trailer of all time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's classic JoJo. It's very weird. But awesome at the same time. Never watched it, but it was one of those shows that if I watched it, I'd be addicted to it. I know. Oh, is it an anime <laughs> show? Is it? Because I know that it was a that that itself was a PS3 fighting game, wasn't it? Uh, it was, yes, but it is a uh, anime, a long winning anime, very popular. Right. Um, we've got a more footage of a uh, track to Yomi, which is going to be day, uh, Game Pass day one. Yeah, which is awesome. Apparently. It's very cool. Yep, I was playing that. Uh, we've got a update to Eternal. We're going to include co-op and uh, a new tower endless mode. Yep, cool. great game. Oh yeah, that, that would have been my favorite game from last last year. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was definitely last year. Yeah, yeah, so good. Yeah, I'm gonna I help you beat the game now, Sonny. I can, I can be there. Yeah, you know what? That might not be a bad <laughs> shout. I did think that, you know, when 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 I saw that the car was coming, I was like, oh, this is uh, this is a turn up for the books. I might actually be able to get through this now with 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 some help. Yeah, we can stream it. Uh, Sonny beats up Eternal all by himself. And also finished there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we've got a couple of new games announced from Square. Just Square didn't have to finish the games before they announced new ones, apparently. No, and they all look the same. <laughs> no, we don't. Stop it. They do. They look the same. They look they look the, the same game. They don't. The trailer comes along, it's like Square Enix and shit. And then um <laughs> it's like then it's like, where's 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 and then like, some fucking swords and stuff, and it's fucking slicing and there's fighting and all sorts of like, oh, no, 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 no. And, yeah, all the fucking all of that shit. It's crazy, but they're all they all look the same. I think we're watching different trailers. Um, but yeah, we've got the deer, <laughs> the deer appeal chronicle, which is on PS5, and PS4. It's a tactics like pop down RPG thing. Uh, and Valkyrie Elysium, which is uh, a new game for the Valkyrie series, which is a long running series. Get you back to PS1, you don't care, but it's very cool to people like me, like nerds like me. Cool. <laughs> so that's Nerd. that. Nerd. I have the second one. But yeah, very cool. Vegetable cool. cool stuff, and that's about it, I think, for yeah, all the same. They're all the same. <laughs> You're all the same. <laughs> Look, we play FIFA every year, okay, and that's the same every year. So exactly, FIFA called it Don't you? Uh, yeah, don't don't, <laughs> don't don't take what I say with with any sort of uh, any sort of meaning. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Well, My uh, Japanese accent was amazing, though. It's the best. Yeah, I can. And I thought it was a real Japanese guy talking for a second. Mm, I mean, yeah, it, I mean, it was. It was actually a soundbite from that one of them trailers. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's all the gaming news I can think of. I'm sure there's plenty of other stuff. Uh, F Zero X is on um, Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack today. True. Uh, with online co op. Pack. Well, with online multiplayer. Yeah. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy is on Xbox Game Pass now for those who haven't played it. Um, yep. And cool. Lawn Mowing Simulator is getting a 
um, Jurassic Safari DLC. Whoop, whoop. I oh, saw yeah. that today. That's very cool. <laughs> yeah. That's one so of those that's games. Cool. That's talking about like relaxing, peaceful games, addictive games. That's one of them. Uh, it really sure. is. I've played it. I've got it on my Series X. Uh, so I downloaded <laughs> it off Game Pass. And it's super addictive. Like, I'm tempted. You've... Not going to lie. So oh, yeah, you, it's just nuts, like how addictive it is. Like, so you get on your little, you know, you sit on lawnmower, and then once you've done, you know, doing the bulk of it, go back to the truck, get the strimmer, and then <laughs> it goes into like FPS mode while you're stringing yeah. the little bits of grass <laughs> to to round off the percentage of um, to a hundred, <laughs> well, nice. as to whatever you need it to uh, to get to. Yeah, so I could be playing Elden Ring, but uh, I'll get a lawnmower similar. Instead, I'm mm. mowing lawns. But you build <laughs> yeah. up your business. You give your business a name. You you know you buy the equipment and all that shit, and it's actually weirdly fun. It takes me longer cool. to mow my own lawn. <laughs> oh, I'm playing it on a fucking Xbox. Honestly, play it. Play it. Download it. <laughs> no, I do it. want to try it. I do want to try it. Yeah, I want you to stream dad, it. My dad would fucking love that game. I want you to stream it. Oh, could you imagine? Could you imagine my dad playing that? I could. I'd love it. I'd be all over it, wouldn't I? I'll get him to stream it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do that. I, can say. I want. I want you to stream Lawn Mowing Simulator. All right. Okay. That's that's what I want. I want FPS streaming. <laughs> yeah. Fine. All right. Okay. I'll one see, I'll full, one, 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 one false slip of the tongue, and that's a very different sentence. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> we do not need to be cancelled. We can't cancel us. <laughs> you can't cancel us. We're not South Park. Can't be cancelled. No. Can't and won't be. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So yeah, yeah that's the gaming yeah. stuff. Yeah. Gaming. Well, <laughs> yeah. Video games. <laughs> Woo-hoo. Oh man! So we, you know, let's talk wrestling. Yeah, I mean, it's been been fucking loads of it since we last did it. <laughs> uh, everybody's yeah. all elite now. Literally everyone, Every, just everyone. Everyone. Yep. Everyone's everyone. all elite. Congratulations! I'm all elite. Got contracts. I'm all elite as well. <laughs> yeah. Finn, you all elite? I'm all elite. Yeah, always. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Sorry. Yeah. We're, we're we're all of us are all elite. Games and grabs yeah. is all elite. <laughs> so, yeah. That that's a thumbnail waiting to happen. Yeah, like, that's the uh, yeah that that's the that's the podcast name this week, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. all elite games and graps is all elite. Yeah, it, all <laughs> it, and it, it is so simple to do because you just put our logo uh, next to the all elite thing. <laughs> yeah, put the us on there. Yeah, <laughs> please, please do it, Finn. <laughs> oh man, so yeah, lots of wrestling's been happening. We're on the road to WrestleMania. Um, and to be honest, WWE has not been terrible these last few weeks. It's yeah. been alright, yeah. It's been alright. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed Saudi media a lot. I thought that was yeah. good. That was a good um, fun show. Yeah, yeah. And I'm actually looking forward to WrestleMania. It's starting to take shape. And yeah, yeah it's it's going to be cool. So we've got the biggest main event of all time: uh, Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. Cena Rock. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, no, no! It's bigger than, way oh, bigger than shit. that. Ooh. Jesus. <laughs> so Jesus. excited is stone, stone so excited setups. about the biggest match in WrestleMania history. It's destroying his setup. Kicking the <laughs> shit out of the table. <laughs> um, so they're unifying the titles here, aren't they? Apparently so, yeah. The way they're wording it, it seems that way. So mm. does this mean that we're just gonna have one champion now across two brands? Yeah, I I don't know, I guess so. Wait, they jump between the two. I, don't know. I mean, well, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Hmm. Well, I, I think if you think about what's happened over the last few months, i.e., you know, cutting the roster. Yeah. I suppose there, there may be a thought of, well, do you need two main title? You know, I know you've obviously got the two shows still. Yeah. Um, but if you've got big star, what? Why? Why limit yourself? If you've got Brock, who seemingly wants to work every bloody week now, uh, yeah, and twice, a twice name, a week as well, he's there, and, and a big name like Roman, what? What? Why? Why uh, pigeonhole them to one show? You know, true. That could well, be yeah, the weekend. There is that. I mean, but then if you do, if you do it for the men's, you do it for the women's. Yeah, I mean, I can't hmm. see why not because I mean, I think the the women's 
there'd roster. be more of a case to do it for the women's and the men's. I think so. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah, because the roster's not as big. The roster's fucking terrible for the for for the women for the most part. I mean, yeah, you know, we're having women's tag team titles at this point is, you know, seemingly pointless. It's, po- it's yeah. completely pointless. I, I was trying to think of who were the tag champions like the other I, day. I, I could not I, think of it. I had to Google it. It's Zelina <laughs> and um, whoever a tag Carmella? team partner is. Yes, Carmella. Carmella yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's nothing with you know, like the the queen of, queen of the ring stuff with Zelina either. Like you you speak British now, that's it. That's your gimmick. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> the king gimmick, isn't it? That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. The thing is with like with the women's tag team titles, they fi- they find themselves having to just throw tag teams together. And to be honest, it isn't that different in the men's division. But no. you know, they're throwing. I think I think I read like Sasha Banks and Naomi are going to be teaming up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, and they're going to be part of the women's tag team title match at uh, WrestleMania, along with Liv and Rhea Ripley. So you're just pulling tag teams out of your ass. Of... You're, you're literally <laughs> just throwing teams together. Yeah, it's weird. We need to take Rhea out of the tag team and putting straight yeah. in another one. Weird. Yeah. yeah it it's weird. really bizarre. So, I don't know. I mean, I think maybe, yeah, you could definitely get away with um, unifying the women's world titles yeah and just have one women's championship um like have it designed the same as the men's yeah, yeah. why not yeah makes sense you know but you take you, you, obviously I, I think for me if you're going to unify the titles it's the universal title that goes yeah definitely yeah because it has to be right yeah <laughs> gotta be it's, it's a stupid name <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I mean, I mean, I'm well and truly over that now. But you know, I think if you're gonna, if you are gonna unify it, it just has to be the WWE Championship, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. So yeah, yeah WrestleMania is taking shape. Obviously, we've got Ronda Rousey uh, taking on Charlotte Flair for the title, okay. uh, which you would imagine she'll win. Yeah. I think it's Charlotte Flair. Don't know. Oh, true. Do you bring Ronda back though to lose? I I doubt it. Well, yeah, I think he's still got. Moment. Yeah, he's got quite a long time left with the contract. Yeah, she it wouldn't surprise me. She's re-signed a contract. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Um, and then Becky is wrestling. Who is Becky wrestling actually at WrestleMania? Is it Bianca Belair again? Yes, it is Bianca Bella. Yeah, she's in the feud with uh, she's in the feud with Bianca and shit at the moment. Yeah, yeah, and that, that brings that full circle. So you know, realistically, Bianca wins at WrestleMania and yeah. becomes the women's champion. And then, I mean, obviously, there's there's no sign of them unifying the women's titles. Then is there at this point? No, no, not yet. I mean, I think you could unify all the belts. You don't need two lots of belts. <laughs> The only ones you yeah. keep are the mid cards, you know. So you keep yeah. the IC title and you keep the United States Championship. They're fine, yeah. but you know, there's not that not enough tag teams on the entire roster to oh, even for, make for what, a tag for each brand. No. no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's, there's barely enough tag teams for one set of titles, let alone yeah. two. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. Mm. So I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, I think they should just unify them. Yeah, that's, that's then, what we thought they were going to do when, like, New Day and Street Profits switched. They thought, oh, they'll have tag, tag team match, you know, together, and then probably wins, gets them both titles, and they'll unify them, and they... Yeah, yeah that's, when, that's probably when they should have done it. Yeah, but nope. They just had them hand, yeah. hand them over, and that was it. Cool. But then if you yeah. start, if you do start doing that, I mean, do you still have the brand split, or do you just have... Do you have the champions appearing on each show and still keep a brand split? I don't know. It's tough to say, really. Yeah, um, you, pro- you perhaps still have a Raw roster and a SmackDown roster, but then your your champions are interchangeable. Yeah. Good yeah. roster. Yeah, quite I, big. Yeah, because I mean, you, then, yeah, you, you could have Reigns on Raw and SmackDown every week. Yeah. Yeah, which, which would make sense from a you know trying to draw viewers. You know, if you know if because they are the you know like Brock and Reigns, they're they're the big they're the big drawer at the moment, aren't they? So of course, yeah. You, you you have them on both both brands, you know, to try and get that viewership up. Yeah, and then I think if you've got you know tag teams, the tag team champions on 
I, I think that would work way better. Mm-hmm. And it would also make 100%. the tiles feel more important if they were represented on both brands. Yeah. True. Instead of having brand centric champions. Mm. Yeah, I think so. I mean, you look at the past when you've had, you know, brand specific champions. You, you always, it always felt in some way, not so much now, but it always felt in the past that one of the brands had a real, like, a champion that you were like, really? They're your main guy on that brand? Yeah. yeah. You know, um, it's not so much the case now, like I just said, but, you know, I, I think, you, you know, unifying them, probably the best. Probably a good way to go. Probably should do it with other belts, definitely. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, WrestleMania really is taking shape. Um, you know, Sami Zayn is going to have a match with Johnny Knoxville. Obviously, he yeah. lost the IC. I'm glad it's not going to be for the champion, the IC title, because that's yeah, good. Um, and I'm glad that Ricochet won the IC title, although apparently they don't have plans for him. Great. Do At think- least nothing sort of concrete. <laughs> so they're just like, giving him the title. And they have no idea what to do. How do our plan for Ricochet? It's so good. It's like, like how do you, uh, it's like so many, so many guys. Like how do you mess up Keith Lee? <laughs> Come on. They don't have Dra- plans for Dragon. Ricochet, but they have plans for Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, Madcap, Madcap Moss, <laughs> Happy Corbin, Madcap Moss. Good yeah. times. <laughs> it's like go, go back to the tag teams on SmackDown. Who realistically could beat the Usos? Um, Can you name an other tag team on SmackDown? Street no. Profits. They're on Raw. Are they? <laughs> you sure? Hmm. Yep. Uh, Dirty Dogs down MXD now. Or the Tiggles. Um, are they Tony Tappy for you? Uh, hmm. What about the Alpha <laughs> Academy? Are they? Are they on Raw? Uh, on oh Raw? yeah, they are. That is true, actually. Uh, New Day. Mm. Are they really a thing anymore? Yeah, well, Biggie's back with Kofi. Uh, Woods is injured, so yeah, kind of. Yeah, but yeah, you're a good point. I can't think of it. Well, the rumor is <laughs> that it's going to be Nakamura and Boogs to challenge mm. the Usos at WrestleMania. Oh, okay, I'm proud of that. Right, but they're not a tag team, are they? I mean, kind of. <laughs> well, I guess, but like, you know what I mean, though. You, you're clutching, ain't you? Yeah, yeah, you're right. The fact that you like, can't oh, think yeah, of a yeah, tag yeah. team on SmackDown who could actually challenge for the tag team titles. Yeah, it's not like there's two like... guys randomly thrown together. Yeah, it's not like a team like True Profits or whoever. So, so uh, you've got so current WWE SmackDown tag teams and stables: the Bloodline, Jimmy okay. and or Jay. Um, so, uh, yeah, the Usos, New Day, Viking Raiders, Lost oh, fucking hell. Warriors. And that's it. That's it. Oh, oh, Jinder Mahal and Shanky. Oh, get, get <laughs> out. It's Jesus. on the list. Jesus. It's on the list. Forgot. And then, Jesus, and then on, they are and then, clutching. And then tag teams and stable. This isn't, this is off uh, um, it, ITN WWE, not ITN as in the British. Uh, it's from, it's only from two days ago, so fairly up to date. Uh, list of current raw tag teams and stables. The, the Hurt Business, uh, the Street Profits, Dirty Dogs, the Mysterios, RK Bro, Alpha Academy, Rollins and Kevin Owens, which is probably not really a thing, um, Apollo Crews and Commander Aziz, and cool. uh, Queen Zelina and Carmella. Um, yeah. so, so by that, are they trying to say that there are no, there's no women's tag team um, <laughs> um, on SmackDown? The champions by default, there's no one else. But champions right. by default. <laughs> but but whereas like in in um, NXT you've got MSK Grizzled Young Vets Imperium Legado del Fantasma Diamond Mine and then on the on the female side Toxic Attraction uh, you've also got Jacket Time and Creed yeah. Brothers so you know Jacket Time is the best name um, Tag Jacket Team time. Wrestling Jacket Time is Kushida and that guy who wears the jacket isn't it yeah yes. It is. It is yep. uh, Kushida and Eichmann Giro. Is that how you say it? Oh, Giro, yeah. It, oh, it, yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. It, it uh, then obviously, um, Thingy, uh, the Creed Brothers, they are in Diamond Mine. Yeah. Yeah, Julius Creed and Brutus Creed. Yeah, they're really good as well. Yeah. So the NXT actually has a tag team division, which is great. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you but could again, throw if you've got if in there as well. Yeah, you could. Yeah, if, yeah. If, if you've only got the thing is, if you've only got one, if you've only got one set of belts, you 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 need what five, six recognised tag teams to have a good year's, you know, worth of tag stories. Yeah. Um, whereas, <laughs> I mean, realistically, SmackDown's got one, two, was well, got four. And uh, one, right. two, three, four, four, maybe five on Raw. So you've got 11 going for two right. lots of belts. It doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't yeah. make sense at all. Just merge Just the belts one. and have yeah. What, yeah, one set of tag team champions and then just, yeah, have them go between the one and a half tag teams they've got on the brands. Yeah. Where, whereas in uh, AEW, they've got that many that they're thinking, oh, I might need a trios belt here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. <laughs> but it's actually insane how many tag teams. There they had a fucking battle royal to determine to, to, what, who was going to be fighting for the tag team titles at Revolution. A <laughs> battle royal. Yeah. A battle royal in the tag division in WWE is a triple threat. <laughs> Pretty much. It's just a tag team match, just a number yeah. one contenders tag team match. <laughs> so you've got so again, this is same website a couple of days ago, updated a couple of days ago. It's now gone really slow. Is this AEW, is it? Yeah, so AEW, you've got why has it gone slow? That's right, cool. Um, yep, <laughs> Varsity Blondes, yes, Jurassic Express. Mm-hmm. FTR. Mm-hmm. Super Kick. Red Dragon. Dragon. The Elite. Yeah. Uh, yep. Young, Young Bucks. Young Bucks. Oh, Steve's doing stuff. He's vanished and reappeared. Okay. We've so got double. We've got double Steve's. We've got, we got double Steve's. Here we go. <laughs> Steve's back <laughs> in. I mean, yeah. you kicked me out completely. Did it beat you out? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, list of tag teams in AEW. Uh, you've got Lucha Brothers, the Young Bucks, the Acclaimed, the Hybrid, or the Hybrid 2, uh, FTR, Proud and Powerful, Best Friends, Private Party, 2.0, um, Reed Dragon, Kings of Blackthorn. And then obviously you've now got Matt and Jeff, Jungle Boy, Luchasaurus, The Butcher and the Blade. Uh, yeah, it's so ridiculous. It's got loads. There's loads. Yeah. Yeah. This is, it's absolutely insane. I mean, AEW... Are they they only have one set of belts and a gazillion tag teams going after them. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. And they're all like proper actual teams that mm. you know, yeah. get get TV time and you know what they are. And yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. how you do it. <laughs> that's how you do it. That's team. exactly how you do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's WWE really. I mean, the tag team division has been a secondary thing for WWE for so long now. Yeah, it really has. Um. And it's a shame because tag team wrestling is great when done right. It's really good. I mean, like, yeah. you know, and, you know, obviously it's advanced as well because now, you know, some companies do have trios tag team titles. And I mm. think AEW will eventually have trios tag team titles. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, because there's enough uh, enough stables and teams and stuff to, 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 to get away with it and do it. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, again, I'm. I mean, I know it's a bit of a nostalgia thing as well, but you think about the tag teams in the Attitude Era, you didn't have loads, but they were all fucking cool. Yeah, but you, you, you look know? at, yeah, even before then, you know, yeah. you had, you know, the Rockers, the Heart Foundation, the Road Warriors, mm. the Bushwhackers, the Beverly Brothers. You know, mm. there were so many tag teams, Money Incorporated. Yeah. Demolition, yeah. the Nasty Boys. <laughs> so mm. many tag teams and yeah. now literally two singles guys <laughs> are the tag team champions yeah and randy orton and riddle yeah yeah i like them as a team i like them as a team i mean eventually orton's going to turn on him yeah, yeah probably at WrestleMania. <laughs> probably yeah <laughs> you're right he's on the wall <laughs> it definitely yeah. is yeah <laughs> on raw this week i've never been having so much fun than i am at the minute with riddle and he's my he's my friend and all this sort of stuff. You just think that we know what's coming there. Yeah, we know what's coming. You, you know you're, gonna kick, you're, gonna kick, you're gonna kick him in the head at Mania, we know. <laughs> yeah, you, you're gonna lose the tag team tiles and you're gonna walk home, and then you're gonna kick him in the head. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to have a great feud between Randy Orton and Matt Riddle, which is going to be great. Yep, yep. Uh, that'd be one less tag team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then, then we're down to then we're down to one tag team in wrestling in WWE. Yeah, yeah. just the yeah. Usos. Yeah, <laughs> it'd just be the Usos in the Alpha Academy trading the tag team titles, both <laughs> Raw and SmackDown tag team titles. Yeah. Just yeah, maybe the Street Profits as well. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, maybe. Fucking that's, that's good. Yeah, I imagine <laughs> it's just a matter of time until Andrew Dawkins turns on. Um, What's his Montes name? Montes Ford. Montes, Montes Ford, Ford, yeah. I think I think their best times, you know, the highs are over. I think it's going to be it's going to be waking up fairly soon. We'll see them later. The thing is, it's Dawkins that's going to get the brunt of that, isn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. Montes Ford's yeah. a superstar. Yeah, Montes Ford's got singles champ in his, uh, oh, God. In his future. Ford, he's so good. Big Montes time. Ford's got WWE champion in his future. Yeah, 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 yeah 100%. Uh, and I, I, like, I like Dawkins. Yeah, me yeah. too. I really cool. do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's he's the one He'll who's going to get the brunt of a breakup. He's the Tucker, isn't he? Yeah, he's, yeah he yeah. is the Tucker. But yeah. he's way better than Tucker. Jesus Oh, Christ. God, yeah. Tucker yeah, Shite. Tucker, Tucker Shite, Tucker yeah. Shite. <laughs> Fucking hell. But yeah, yeah he's uh, yeah he's going to be the one to get the brunt of it. And I, I, don't, I don't see him succeeding as a singles competitor, Angelo Dawkins. No. no. Um, They'll probably try and put him with Apollo Crews and, or, and change his accent or whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and they'll be the African prophets or something. That's what'll oh, happen. <laughs> Don't. That sounds about right. It does. It, it, <laughs> it, it, it sounds like it's something that could definitely happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, do, do we need to fix their titles and divisions badly? Yeah, but yeah. in general, WWE hasn't been that bad at the minute. It's actually been no. quite good, uh, building up to Saudi Mania, coming out of Saudi Mania, and building towards WrestleMania. Yeah, um, and I'm looking forward to sort of seeing what happens over the next few weeks towards WrestleMania. We'll also sort of figure out what we're doing content-wise WrestleMania week, um, <laughs> and we'll obviously let you know what's going to happen. So we, we will obviously be here doing stuff. Yeah, we will. Yeah. For so sure. the, look, we'll we'll figure it out and we'll let you know. Let's talk about NXT real quick. Um, genuinely, <laughs> don't have an issue with Dolph Ziggler being the NXT champion um, <laughs> as much as I thought I would because yeah. it'd be yeah okay. It's fine that Bron Breaker beat Tommaso Ciampa. It would be a bigger deal if he beat Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, to win the title back. Sense. Yeah, yeah. But, and this is a big question mark, Vince has seen him on Raw now, yeah. from Breaker. The, <laughs> you know, is he sort of thinking, this is my guy already? That wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Yeah, yeah. same. <laughs> Which, you know, it's fine. You know, it's, too is, you know, it's too soon. It's too soon. Yeah. I agree. He's like one of these guys who's like, right, ready made. You know, I agree. Degree, yeah, I agree with that. But, uh, but I think it's too soon for him to be. Um, I, th- I think it, I think it's too soon, and it'd be too overwhelming to throw him onto the main roster full time right now. I think he needs NXT at least until the end of the year. Carry, yeah. you know, beat Ziggler for the belt at uh, like WrestleMania weekend. Really cement himself yeah. as the face of. NXT going forward. Now, Champ is sort of going to be, I would imagine, no longer on NXT after he lost this week. Yeah, I think it's um, up. And what, yeah, what we'll see now is Ziggler and Bron Breaker feuding over the title all the way up to WrestleMania. Uh, and I would imagine Breaker wins the belt back at WrestleMania weekend. Yeah, that makes sense to have me. You, yeah. Have you seen that? You've seen the takeovers uh, the same day as WrestleMania. Oh, but it? it's in it's in the day. Oh, oh okay. So it's mm. like four Not o'clock anywhere. over here or something like that. Is that on the it's Saturday or the Sunday? Because obviously Saturday. many is. Um, yeah. yeah, so it's Saturday. So it's like noon in America or something. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. So that'd be interesting. I, um, I, I assume they're doing Hall of Fame Friday in that case, but I don't know. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. 
What's that? SmackDown. What about? Oh, I don't know. Oh yes. <laughs> Unless they pre-record SmackDown. But then again, it's yeah, the still, you still got to wear it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hmm. This is the thing with WrestleMania being two nights, isn't it? It fucks everything up. <laughs> yeah. It makes the scheduling a bit weird. Yeah, I like WrestleMania over two nights. I try, I, I yeah. really do. But if you can have, like, I mean, do you have SmackDown on? Do you move SmackDown to Thursday? I have Hall of Fame on Friday, NXT on Saturday daytime, which is also really weird to me anyway. And then WrestleMania yeah. both night times. Yeah, it's very, whole, mm. if you have having NXT during the day on Saturday, but Hall of Fame during the day on Sunday. Maybe. Maybe the Hall of Fame yeah. needs to be a big deal, though, doesn't it? Because obviously Undertaker's going in, so take, and Vince yeah. and Vince is yeah. inducting him. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Be interested to see what the uh, the schedule is. Let me see. Let me see if the schedule's out. I mean, it has to be. It's in like a few weeks. They've cancelled WrestleMania yeah, not... Access this year as well. Uh, oh, yeah. Was it WrestleMania Thirty Eight? Yeah. Uh, Thirty Eight. <laughs> right, WrestleMania Thirty Eight schedule. Great, that's Wrestle- that's SummerSlam. Why are you showing me that shit? Um, <laughs> let's see if it's going to... that shit. Cool, can't find it. Um, so I'm just trying to I'm trying to find the schedule for it. Uh, yep, no idea. Cool, that's great. Really good. <laughs> Properly helpful. Cool. And as I did then. We're it's just obviously they're just gonna try and cram everything into the one weekend. So um it yeah. wouldn't surprise me if either SmackDown's moved to Thursday or the Hall of Fame's on Thursday, but I don't think it'll be that. Yeah. No, we'll Unless you have the no, Hall so of Fame instead of SmackDown. Things. Unless you, you do you go home on Raw. Maybe. For everything. Then they have the Hall of Fame on the Friday. Yeah. Instead of SmackDown. I get you that. Like work. Mm. We'll see. We'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. But it, I'm there sure. might be a schedule oh, yeah, yeah. out there, but I couldn't see it. So, mm. yeah. Mm. But either way, it's uh, looking good. I, I, I don't mind Dolph Ziggler as NXT champion because, um, yeah, it'll it'll look better when Bron Breaker beats him for the title. Yeah. yeah. Like in terms oh, of he's took a big scalp there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's not knocking like Champer. Obviously, he's done so great in NXT, but Dolph Ziggler's been the world heavyweight champion. Yeah, exactly. Makes sense. Yeah, definitely. He sort of does. suits NXT as well a little bit. You think? Yeah. Mm. Dolph Ziggler, yeah, I think so, yeah. It's cool seeing, like, maybe most of the guys down there occasionally, like, we had AJ, AJ Styles taking on the, mm. the Grayson Waller for a while. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. I see what they're doing for sure. I, yeah. I, I don't. I, I like NXT 2.0. I don't watch it religiously. I just catch the highlights every week. But I like it. Um, yeah. I like yeah. what they're doing with it. Um, I think somebody came out. I think it might have been Finn Balor said it needed to happen because um, it was sort of getting uh, to a point where it was maybe the black and gold brand was getting a bit stale. Yeah, they, they like- weren't the words he used. But um, it was yeah. comments to that effect. Around so about, well, yeah, yeah, because yeah. like lost, it's like like it like lost sight of what it was. Like supposed to be build, building these new stars uh, from the ground up, and so just hiring like guys you know who are already wrestlers. Yeah, like, ready made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, don't. I mean, th- this is why. This is why I was not against the change in the first place. Because let's be fair now, AEW is what NXT. What this is the NXT that we knew and loved on a bigger scale, yeah, exactly. Essentially, obviously, yeah. they're adding a lot of veterans now, but but WWE want to build their own stars, they want to, they you know, they want to say they came through the WWE system, yeah, that's exactly it, isn't it? I, I, I think we've all said it on the on the podcast, you know, that they, they want to be able to, you know, you, you can imagine that Wrestle, like WrestleMania 40 because it's like a milestone. You know, they, they want to be able to say the main event for the men's and the women's potentially are guys that we, guys and girls that we brought through. You know, we taught them how to wrestle yeah. with no no prior experience. 
and their main event in WrestleMania 40. I think yeah, that, that's Bron- where they kind of want to go. Bron yeah, Breaker I mean, Bron- would be Bron- your Breaker obvious one right now. Jesus, yeah, Bron Breaker yeah. is... He's he's a he's ready made superstar. He gets it, you know. And obviously, he's yeah. come from a very it's sort of DNA, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. He's, he's great on the mic. Looks great, great mm-hmm. move set as well. I still think it's too early for him to go to the main roster now. Give him a good run with the NXT Championship before moving him up to the main roster. So I still do yeah. it that way, you know. Still yeah. have the cha- a champion dominate, lose the belt, come up. Yeah, but there's a lot of you know. I saw, I saw a lot, you know, a lot. A lot of, you know, AEW guys like Britt Baker said it, and I think Tony Khan said it um, about them sort of being taught to wrestle in a paint by numbers way. But you watch NXT 2.0, and you know they're not all wrestling the same style. No, they're being, they're, yeah, they're being taught the fundamentals. But then you're there's different coaches at the PC, you know teaching different styles of wrestling because not everybody wants to be a power wrestler like Bron Breaker. Not everybody wants to be a, t- a technical wrestler, you know, yeah. there's the, so that th- this sort of paint by numbers wrestling stuff is ludicrous to me that people say about NXT yeah. 2.0 and the performance center, the performance center is the most advanced wrestling training camp in the entire world. Yeah, yeah. It's like you think they're any... all teaching them how to do just fucking body slams and gorilla presses. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Absolutely not. No. Yeah, there aren't any like indie stars. Like we got stars from no indie stars like MSK, guys like that. We got like guys from Japan, like you know Kushida. Um, yeah, there's still there's still stars from all over. It's not just like classic big WWE guys. It's yeah, it's, no, it's right. yeah, it's there's, there's, yeah, there's different shapes and sizes in NXT 2.0, but they and but you you can see that they are going to be the next generation. Like Grayson Waller didn't look out of place on Raw when he was yeah. doing yeah. his little feud with AJ Styles. Bron Breaker didn't look out of place on Raw this no. this past week. It's still, like I said, it's still too soon to bring them up properly, but they mm. they are the future stars of WWE. Yeah. So you know, and I, I appreciate NXT 2.0 for that reason. Because mm. we get to the next generation on a small scale, then we're going to get to see them on a large scale, and uh, that's that to me is actually pretty exciting. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Uh, let's touch on AEW. Uh, yeah, it's been good. It's been real really good. good. Yeah. Revolution was good. It was long, but it was good. Long well, wicked. Um, yeah, we, I just finished. <laughs> I've been a little bit behind on AEW, but I just finished watching uh, Revolution, which was uh, excellent. Really enjoyed I've it. Got a real, I've got a real question for you guys. Well, we don't need to go through the results of the shows and all that sort of stuff because obviously everyone's already watched them and all that sort of stuff. But there's a million other podcasts that do that, and that's fine. What do you think? To Hangman Page as the World Heavyweight Champion. Honestly. Um, yeah, I do like Adam Page as wrestler. Obviously, it's excellent. But uh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Championship run hasn't been as special as you know other guys like uh, Kenny Omega or Chris Jericho or Moxley or, or Moxley. Yeah, it's kind of it's just yeah. kind of like there. You know, it's not like he's not like the main attraction. It doesn't feel like he's just kind of there. Yeah. yeah. I, and I think that sums it up perfectly. Mm, yeah, I, I'd, I'd go with that. Mm. Yeah, to me, Pretty Page much. looks <laughs> like he should. I mean, I like Adam, I like Adam Page, but I feel like yeah, the build up to him winning the championship was way more exciting than him having it now. Yeah, I mean, I really thought Adam Cole was going to win it. Um, to be honest with you, but yeah, I, don't know. I think he will. I think he will win it. And I think hmm. um, Kenny Omega will come back, and there'll be like a a Kenny Omega and Adam Cole feud. Yeah, I think I think Cole will win it. I think he'll win it um, like double or nothing. or whenever that is, two months away, maybe even before yeah. that, on a special episode of Dynamite. But I think Adam Cole will win it. I just I don't think this experiment, and I'm going to call it an experiment with Paige as the world champion, has worked as well as it should have. No. Now I saw yeah, something I about since Adam Adam Page has been the champion that ratings have been good. Okay. Uh, so that justifies Adam Page being a draw. But I disagree with that because people aren't tuning into Dynamite to watch Adam Page as the champion. I'm not. No. No, no yeah, it's, it's uh, new. Other, other people other, are a yeah. draw. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. 
yeah, for, yeah. new stars in, and people want to see the you know the new stars. So well, I mean, the, this week this week was a perfect example. I mean, I don't know what the viewership was. I don't look at all that sort of stuff. It doesn't doesn't really interest me. Um, no, I can care less. But you've got to think that people were tuning in this week because of the very, 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 very strong rumours that Jeff Hardy was going to turn up. Yeah, yeah, that's and why they were tuning in. The thing is, oh, as yeah. well, the main event was for the TNT Championship. Now, the World Championship yeah. was defended on AEW yeah. this week. Adam Page yeah. defended against uh, Dante Martin, who right. I'm a big fan of, but he was never going to lose. No. no, no, of course not, no. You know, so it was just a, oh, he's he's number two in the rankings, here's his title shot type thing, in like the middle of the show. And then the TNT I mean, you... title between Scorpio Sky and Sammy Guevara was main event, and it was great. Do, do you think they're just waiting for Omega to come back? I don't. Um, I think, you know, they've been building this Adam Page thing since the start of AEW. Yeah, yeah. And they, they, they got the big payoff, but it's almost like they've not known what to do what after to do the next. big payoff. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's like mm-hmm. okay, he's now the champion, but now what? What do we do yeah. now? Mm. Um, you know, and WWE have been criminal of it down the line previously as well, with people sort of being the champion and having such a big build-up to winning the championship and then not knowing sort of where they go from there. Kofi Kingston. Yeah, yeah, Kofi Kingston is a great example of that. Um, (laughs) Dean Dean Ambrose. (laughs) Yeah, Dean Ambrose, Uh, yeah. Awful title reign. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it was poor. Everyone wanted it. Everyone wanted it so badly. Bray Wyatt is another another perfect one. Fiend. Bray Wyatt. And I feel like it would have been the same had they put the belt on Cesaro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It would have been the same thing. It's like... Yeah, well, okay, fine. We'll give him to fan pressure and we'll put the belt on him. But then, you know, no. th- that momentum just fizzles out. And I feel like the yeah. momentum has fizzled out with Hangman. Yeah, he's popular, but is he the world champion? Do I don't I don't look at him as the world champion. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean there's no there's no doubt the guy is is popular and he's over. Oh, and, and he's and super talented that, and he's super over. No two ways. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But but he almost you look at him. Like- God, sorry. If you put him in, if you put a, put a lineup of AEW wrestlers, yeah, no I, belts or anything like that, you just put him in. You yeah. put him in a line and went. And you you pointed out to someone who do you think is the world champion out of these guys? And you were like, he'd have like Jericho, Mox, and you know whoever else, big Keith Lee, Punk. whoever, yeah. Punk, Punk, yeah, Brian. MJF. Keith who Lee. who do you think is the world champion here? You would not pick Adam Page. No, no, yeah. no. I mean, in 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 a similar way to like you know the likes of. The likes of NJF and Punk and even uh, you know Danielson and they don't need a belt for people to want to. Uh, uh, Page is in that bracket as well, to to a degree. He doesn't need a belt for people to be like, oh yeah, he's 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 got a match tonight. It doesn't be cool. I agree, and if he, I think if he was to go for belts, I, I feel like the TNT Championship would be perfect. Mm. That that's yeah. where he is. I, I, I st- you know, an AEW. Is becoming very overpopulated now. Uh, I think I think it's ridiculously overpopulated. I mean, I mean, yeah, just, I mean, just, just just this last couple of weeks. So Jeff Hardy turned up, right? Jeff cool. Hardy's all elite. Swerve is all elite. William Regal is all elite. <laughs> Everyone is all people. elite. Keith yeah. Lee, who I don't think they've done any favors to already. Yeah, uh, was he on this week? Uh, he was in a backstage segment with QT Marshall. Right, okay. Yeah. Um, and, and I get people's point where they're like, oh, I'm not, I, I'm not really, I'm not really interested. Uh, you know, it doesn't, I, I don't look into things too much about like an overstacked roster. And it's just, it, it's more the, it, it, it's almost like, I don't know, with Tony Khan, and we've said, we've, you know, you, you said like, he's a, He's a dweeb, isn't he? <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a massive he's a dog, yeah. And it's almost <laughs> like he's playing. It's almost like he's playing. Uh, he's playing football manager, but with a wrestling company. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I'll get them. I'll get them. I'll get them. Yeah, but what are you going to do with them? Don't know, but I've got them. You know, it's <laughs> yeah. like he's. It's like it's like he's collecting fucking stickers. You know, it's like he's he's getting his Platini sticker album and he's <laughs> and uh, his Panini sticker album and uh, you know he's he's like yeah got him got him got him yeah but what are you gonna do now with it don't matter I've got him though look 
Yeah, and, that, and that's what <laughs> yeah, and I know that there is, you know, there's huge, there's, there's potential, and we are getting great matches. MJF, we are Bob, amazing, you know, you know, Daniel's great Mark story, and, and Regal, as well. and great stories, and you know, yeah, Jericho's brilliant. still Jericho's still doing it at his age, and Guevara's great, and you know, Hook is is brilliant, and you know, Page is brilliant, and you've got all these great, great guys, but eventually. It almost feels like the arse is going to fall out of it. Uh, Something's and, got and, to give eventually. Hasn't yeah, it? and I, and I know, I know that obviously he's just acquired Ring of Honor, mm. but what's he going to do with it? You yeah, know, it, I mean, it's, yeah, 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 yeah I, I agree. I, yeah, I mean, you know, I think we're a way off um, at any sort of Tony Khan Ring of Honor incarnation because Long way it, it's going to have to be. It's going to have to be done right uh, for it yeah. to matter. Because let's be fair here, and I said it, it yes, it's a big deal. The, the biggest thing to come out of the Ring of Honor deal is the video library. Mm. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I think. Because you've you've now got, because all the talent was released from Ring of Honor. Everyone, everyone's contract was ended. So now yeah. basically what you've got to do is you've got to build Ring of Honor up from the ground. Now, no, it's still Ring of Honor, so it's still got name value. Okay, so it won't be too difficult to get started. But who who wrestles there? Do you mm. go and re-sign all of the talent that was in Ring of Honor before? Yeah, I just, just yeah, it got like all these. I don't, I, I don't, I don't understand like, what is what the aim is here. Yeah, I guess put guys you might do things on AW, put them down, have hang out on Ring of Honor, but they'd be like the B show, I guess. To AEW's because yeah. you, you have got because because you, you have obviously got X Ring of Honor guys in AEW, so there's yeah. that there's that nostalgia trip as well, that side of it. Um, I don't know. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, Jay, Jay Lethal's gone to AEW to enhance his career and put him in put him in the mainstream public eye, and yeah, yet yeah. he's not even on Dynamite. He's he's wrestling on Dark every week. Yeah. I mean, that's a waste. It's such a waste of a talent. You know, former Ring of Honor champion. He, he, I don't know. For me, Jay Lethal should be on TV every week competing for, competing for titles. Yeah. 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 Because he's a proven yeah. champion and it was a big deal when he came in. And then nothing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, is it going to be the same for Swerve? Jeff Hardy will slot into the tag team division with, with Matt. That's obvious. Yeah. Straight yeah. away. Yeah. But what, what happens with Swerve? Yeah, good question. You know, Keith Lee's already faded into the background because, you know, he came in, he had that match, um, you know, against the guy from Top Flight, uh, sorry, from Private Party. And then he was in the face of the Revolution ladder match, but didn't do a great deal there. You know, a um, couple, of, couple of spots. It was, a, it was a proper spot fest, which is always going to be. But... Yeah. And Wardlow was probably the right person to win it, but maybe just don't have Keith Lee in the match. Maybe have him have do something else. Have a have an have a singles feud with somebody. Build him build him up first, and then have him compete in number one contender matches for titles. Because now what? He's in a feud with QT Marshall. No, thank you. Yeah, QT Marshall. I'm not talking about. Um, no one is. No. I mean, it's weird, uh, weird the guy to him on TV and then guys... It's like, him versus David. Hook was on the pre-show. <laughs> yeah. Let's take it. I mean, there, there, must be, there must be something, uh, and whether it's, you know, whether Tony Khan is just like the world's great, you know, could sell ice to an Eskimo sort of sort of guy. <laughs> but, yeah. but all of these, ta- you know, we're not talking about oh, up and coming in, you know, we're talking about... CM established. Punk, right? Yeah, established, you know... In some cases, you know, once once bridges have been rebuilt, future Hall of Famers in in various different things, um, you know, rest you know wrestlers here, you know, people that have earned a shed load of money, you know, throughout their careers and all this sort of wrestled all over the world. So there must be something that's attracting them, even though there is a stacked roster for them to say, well, "Yeah, I will sign with you." They think it's the promised yeah. land. Since leave, yeah. you know, you, you leave WWE. Where's next? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is the this is literally the, I mean, you don't go in impact is is good, impact yeah. is great, but it isn't on the same scale that AEW is. AEW is packing arenas every week. Impact is filmed in a TV studio. 
Yeah. So naturally, yeah. you still want to be on the big stage. What's the biggest fuck you to WWE, who's just just released you? It's obviously to go to AEW. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, eventually as well, the rankings are going to get very convoluted. You're going to lose track of who's doing what and who should be. Scorpio Sky has hadn't lost a match in a year prior to him winning the TNT Championship. So should he have not been challenging for the World Championship? Yeah, Probably, good yeah. point. Yeah. But yeah. It's, that's the thing. I don't get it. I, d- yeah, I understand they- that you want wins and losses to matter to, to separate yourself from the competition. And I get that. And this probably sounds like we're shitting on AEW. We're not. We're just trying <laughs> no. to figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I think it, I mean, we've, we've, had, we've had this conversation a few times about the, the roster. And it's just like you say, in the, last, in the last week or two weeks, you've had bang, 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 these, these, these signings. Yeah. But, you know, I, I wonder whether it's, again, is the lure of it for for these guys that you know they can have a six to eight week program and then have a couple of months off to spend time with families recover you know uh go and wrestle elsewhere japan or whatever is that the law of it is that what it is it's that like okay you'll have me for six to eight weeks we'll build a great storyline with great wrestlers and then disappear for a bit and then come back then because obviously one of the things that wwe is is even when when they had a huge roster one of the things that they were always accused of was uh, how repetitive it was. You know, you would have yeah. you would have the same match over and over and over and over, and then just as you think it all it's culminated at a pay per view, it then carries on into the next pay per view, and, and mm-hmm. you know, so maybe that is the lure of AEW that there is that kind of look. I don't have to wrestle fifty two weeks of the or fifty it's, weeks of the year. It's still the shiny new thing, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, and yeah. I, I love AEW. I think it's great. I really do. Yeah, but I, I do as well. Yeah, yeah. You you look at all the talent you've got there, and eventually something has got to give. Yeah, like something... I say, you don't you don't want uh, none of us on on the, on here or on the you know or any or any of the the like the the guys in the Discord or anything like that. We don't want to see AEW to fail because it's great. absolutely not. No, 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 no. I want it to succeed and reach the heights yeah. of. You know, reach the eventual heights that WWE, yeah, you know, reached. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I just don't want the arse to fall out of it. And... I just feel like you know, like you signing the likes well, of the... Jeff Hardy. Yeah, you, okay, you signing yeah. Jeff Hardy because he's Jeff Hardy. But um, you know, do we really? Jeff Hardy is, and again, this is no disrespect to Matt Hardy, but Jeff Hardy's bigger than a Matt. a tag yeah. team run with the in the Hardy Boys again. Yeah. Mm. Jeff Hardy want... is a is a world heavyweight champion. Yeah, big time. But we don't want uh, AW to TNA themselves. <laughs> if that makes sense. We don't want them to WCW um, themselves. WCW. <laughs> I, yeah, it's exactly, the one that yeah. I always think of. WCW, where they just yeah, yeah. I mean, we've already seen it, and I know he's not an overly he didn't become overly popular. But the fact the thing is, Cody Rose was an integral part in AW being set up, and by signing all of these, the likes of Punk Danielson, blah, 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 blah. All, all the names that we know. He's been pushed further and further and further down to the point where, allegedly, he is now no longer with the business and probably going to re-sign with WWE. Mm. And he was the guy that helped set the frigging thing up. You know, yeah, so... I mean, so uh, yeah. and, 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 and and that that could happen to any one of these signings that are currently there that they just get pushed further and further and further down and they think, well, this is... Shit, <laughs> and yeah, you know, who, who I mean, knows? Who knows? I mean, where you know, on the on the subject of Cody, else. apparently, like sort of talks between him and WWE fizzled out, and they wanted him mm. to sort of. Um, there was the internal plan was for him to wrestle Seth Rollins at WrestleMania, right? Uh, and that that could still happen. You know, there's no, there's nothing to say that it's dead in the water. But uh, Raw is in Jacksonville on Monday. Oh, okay, okay, um, yeah, yeah. So. I saw- if, I saw one guy saying they put it out, and then I think Dave Meltzer said, "No, no, it's still going." And it's got like conflicting reports, so it's like, yeah, no anymore. which is a good thing because you don't yeah. know because it'd be a bigger well, surprise. Oh yeah, Ra- Raw's in people. Jacksonville on Monday. Um, if anything big's going to happen, um, either they'll start promoting something over the weekend, like promoting Raw, and like Seth Rollins is going to issue an open yeah. challenge or some bollocks like that. <laughs> um, 
Or it'll just happen. It'll just it'll just come out and be Cody Rhodes. Mm. I think it's even if Cody Rhodes goes back to AEW, I don't know where he fits in. No, exactly. Yeah, exactly. What exactly. That's that's the thing. If he ends up sort of not not that this you know we're saying that this is a a work or anything, but you know if it does get to a point where it's like actually I'll I'll resign. I, I don't I don't yeah okay, you're I right. don't think where, it's a work. I do it... I, I think I don't think it's a work at all. I think it's um, no I don't. No. No. I think it's gone think, too far. For I think it to be there. yeah definitely yeah because he yeah I think it's definitely um, well, WWE not a work. didn't WWE didn't distance themselves enough for me. For it to have been, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, WWE could have, if it was a work, WWE could have came out straight away and gone. This is nothing to do with us. Yeah, this is no, don't 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 listen yeah. to that. They've been making yeah. slight references on Raw. Or I mean, yeah, like Miz, Miz was uh, he did it, didn't he? Was that yeah. Saudi? And Edge. Uh, yeah, it was on Raw. Yeah, Edge did it yeah. as well, and the WWE on Twitter did it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So. um yeah, I mean, I think I we'll see him somewhere, you know. Of course. Um, but AW, yeah, it's getting too getting too packed now. I mean, we said weeks and weeks ago that enough was enough with the signings, and even Tony Khan himself said he couldn't really, you know, he can't just sign everybody and he can't renew everybody's contract. <laughs> and then here he is signing everybody. Can't, can't <laughs> sign everybody, but he brings in Jeff Hardy, uh, Jeff Hardy, Swerve, and and, and Regal. All right, Regal won't be a, you know, he'll be a. He won't be wrestling, obviously, but uh, yeah, he's only fifty-two. Well, yeah, yeah, think it's all going. yeah. And I'm sure he can Jericho's still beat 51. the shit. I'm sure he can still beat the shit out of most of those guys. <laughs> yep, <laughs> probably. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's an interesting time um, in pro wrestling in general, but I think AEW needs to calm down with the signings. It's definitely yeah. getting too convoluted. Um, yeah. Otherwise, you know, the product that they put on is great. It's Genuinely, it's great. It's very good. But yeah. there's wrestlers that they have signed that I want to see, but I'm not seeing. Yeah. Like everyone was scrambling for Keith Lee to go there. Goes there, he does nothing. And, he'll, yeah. you know, that, that hype will just fizzle out. You yeah. just can't keep yeah. packing out the roster because eventually it will just... You know what I mean? It'll just... Yeah, it'll fall, fall in on itself, won't it? Yeah, and then yeah. Tony Khan will find himself having to make releases because, you know, these people aren't on TV and they're paying them to do literally fuck all. And it's, you know, there's eventually, you know, these things are going to have to happen. Mm. Yeah, certainly. He's going to have to thin the herd. And when it happens, will they get the same amount of shit that WWE does? Probably not. No, probably not. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, that, I'm not yeah. going to get into that at all. But um, <laughs> WWE are criminal for it. But it will happen eventually in AW because it has to. And it'll be the yeah. people that started the company or like, you know, the wrestlers that were there first who have been pushed aside for the big money signings and the big, the big names. They're the ones that will, they're the ones that will suffer for it. And I think that's, yeah. that'd be uh, that's a real shame. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's a real definitely. shame. But mm. for the minute, you know, it is all, it is all good. It is yep. all good. You know, WWE's getting better. AEW's still excelling. Impact's looking great. And mm. wrestling's, wrestling's in a good place right now. We've even got a yeah, good wrestling video game. Who fucking thought that was going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> Finally, it's been years. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. So many years. So it's, it's all good. And you, you've got the best wrestling comedy podcast going back. Hell yeah. yeah. OSW Review is so good. Which one's that? Us. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I, I, yeah. 100% <laughs> of us. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so we've been going for over two hours now. It's probably better about time to call it a day. Yeah, Four. it's been fun. It has been good. No, it's been good. It. It's been, it's back been good. In it. good. We had a lot to talk about, uh, Ooh. and now we're back on it. Oh, yeah, we're back, back we're on back. it. We're back. Um, so yeah, this has been episode 160 of the Games and Grabs podcast. We are a video game and wrestling podcast, the post cross podcast services everywhere, everywhere everywhere and youtube.com forward slash games graps we also stream twitch.tv forward slash games and graps and you can follow us on all the social medias at games and graps twitter facebook and instagram and we're on tiktok as well search for games and graps ladies and gentlemen i'm hollywood sunny g joined as always by balafin thank you very much 
And Stone Cold Steve Watkins. Good night, you son of a bitches. <laughs> <laughs> and we will indeed be back next time. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Goodbye. Bye.